Gan uh, Ganti is in there right away when no blum. <laughs> Thank you very much for the piss. <laughs> yes. No blum is the new fucking blum. No blam is a new blam. What a fucking brilliant start to the weekend, from my point of view. Oh, brilliant. That's really put me in a right good mood. I was already in a good mood. Now it's even better. G Hus thinks the sub. Mon, let me not sure if you read chat messages pre-stream, but my missus can't stand you, so I've had to escape to the local internet cafe just to... Get the old sub message in, haha. <laughs> Fucking brilliant. What one yet? Easy. Um, one yen. What's it called? Easy. What's it called? What was that old internet cafe? Uh, the, the easy lot. Did. It was orange. You know, you know, it had easy jet and there was an like easy something. Easy. Just need to remember, need to remember. I'm talking about fucking... Pfft. What's that? About 17 years ago. Uh, Five subs exactly in the, in the top ten. Let's take, a, let's take a risk, let's go for three subs. Only three subs in the top ten, you've got two minutes. What was it called? Was it called Easy Internet Cafe? It might have been. I mean, you're probably joking, but... Easy Internet Cafe. Aye, 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 that's it, aye. One word. What is this, like, Germany or something? Easy Internet Cafe was a chain of internet cafes in the unit... It was... Anybody remember it? Hit or that, or these kind of monitors off flat against the... It was just a kind of... like that. I remember going to places like that to fucking like upload when, when me and Lynn were travelling. It was like 2005, 2006, something to go to places like that to upload pictures from a fucking camera, a digital camera. This is before smartphones. This is before smartphones. What's play for? Take a look at that. Look up the top middle. Type exclamation mark play to enter the race. When you type exclamation mark play just once in the chat, this whole thing here is connected to Twitch. It reads the chat. And when it sees your username, type exclamation mark play. It adds you as a marble in this game. When I click start, your marble simply rolls down with gravity. And we see who gets to the... who wins. That's it. Nothing else to it. No other controls. Nothing else you do in chat. That's all there is. That's all there is. The person who wins gets to decide what the idea will be for that morning's, this morning's, improv story. If you've not got a fucking idea ready, or you don't even look like you've got that, yes, I won! You're just kind of no there. I just move on to the next person. We just don't have the time to wait. If any is, if any is thinking that's a bit impatient, you were not there. You were not there, you have not walked in my shoes. You were not there. Let me, why would you only do one blam request in the morning? You were not there. You were not there. I was there. I've been here through the whole lot of it. I'd burned uh, and beneath the headphones and some bits of the blam just got taken began to with a no blam. From and web Spencerism at his jammer St. Potato Fergus Silverado Shantler's Bassoon Me and Egg Adam Fenton Mostoff Nets Rest of Dogs, Herman Munster, Aaron, Gil Pants the Kicker, thinks the subs. Charlie Butchell, Magswell thinks the, 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 the love heart. Gary thinks the sub. 
When's Kantum at Kantus funeral? It's not dead. It's not dead. The best part of my sub is seeing you smile. My missus doesn't get you either. That's fine. I'm not for everybody. I actually scare some people. Get a gear, kind of gear. It's not so much scare them like they, they wake up at three in the morning with nightmares. I just sort of gear them a bad feeling, give them creeps or something. That's just, that's fine. Um. Uh, uh, Adam Yeah, yeah Herman A fight between the Osmonds and the Jackson 5 Who wins? Um, oh wait That's your Osmonds Not that new generation lot Pro right away, I'm, I'm saying Jackson 5. Uh, the Osmonds, uh, count him out, count her out. It's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Are they no like, um, Uh, what are they called? What's the Mormons? I don't know the ins and outs of uh, the Church of the Latter Day Saints. But I can imagine there's some element of non violence in there, but you know how it is. You know how it is. People are people. Despite somebody's religion, they can overrule it in there because people are individuals. I'm an atheist, but I, 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 I say this. If there is a God, I think, I think God would respect that. I think the people who don't buy the book, I don't think God would, uh, would respect that. They just belie it. just... You know, like imagine there's a, uh, like uh, there's like a few wins. It'll be the it'll be the cheeky one, the troublesome one, the one that keeps the parent on the toes, that they'll think of most fondly. No, the one that's behaving themselves and all that. No, interested. It's it's the troublesome one. I think if you don't date or buy the book, uh, if you do believe in God, you follow a particular religion, I think if you don't date buy the book, if you date a wee bit, break the rules now and again, I think when you get up there, God will be like, you kept me on on my toes, you. And all the, all the do-gooders. Did I do, did I do good? They will just, aye, well done. Yep, uh -huh, yep, on you go. Yep, uh -huh, on you go. You kept me on my toes, you. You're a cheeky one. You have you have a chance. You will have a good twenty minutes to explain yourself. So don't worry about it. If you've if you're religious and you, you felt that you've you've fallen short of what was required, I think you'll have a good good twenty twenty five minutes to explain yourself when you get up there before you get sent down there. Just have it all ready. Have it all memorized. Hi. First of all, thanks for having me here. Thanks for calling me in. That's a good question. That's a good question. Um, right, so Jackson 5. Does it... Does it... Jackson... Wait a minute, wait a minute. You said... I feel, I feel like uh, Bob Monkhouse. You said... Our survey said... Jackson 5, now, I believe the Jackson 5 included the child, Michael Jackson, and I believe 
that they turned into the Jacksons. So let's find it. And then we're going to Jackson 5. Right, let's see. Right, later the Jacksons, that's the one. Ja the Jackson 5, later the Jacksons. That's the one we're looking for. And that will determine Jackson's Right, here we go. Motown sued them for breach of contract but allowed the group to record for Epics as long as they changed their name because Motown owned the name Jackson 5. The brothers thus renamed themselves the Jacksons. And that was... Even the group announced still but the bunch of them still remained under the contract in Motown until 1976. So let's say 1976. They changed the name for the Jackson 5 to the Jacksons in 1976. Uh, Michael Jackson, 1976, 18, so he would have been 18, so we're talking about an 18 year old who was the youngest, dunk, 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 wait a minute, can you feel it, I'm just trying to determine who, Dunk dunk da dunk da dunk dunk da dunk da dunk dunk da dunk da dunk dunk da dunk Probably about that age there. Years had no chance. Compared to him. Have you all fucking read about what they done? did? Jump on Family Terrace, Andrew. Thanks to subs. Oh, uh, um, uh, um, the Osmonds would win in the fight, I think. Purely by just looking at the numbers. Looking at the numbers. I've uninstalled uh, Texas Chainsaw Massacre. You will never see me stream it. Oh, Charlie Butchell face, by the way. Very Disco, Minty Mints, Gary Grillman, New135, thanks to subs. Any words of wisdom for a soon to be dad? No words of wisdom. No words of wisdom. There's nothing for ye. Some things have just simply got to be experienced. Da 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 da. Just got to experience it. You've missed a bit yet. Lanky like says some laugh at having a good time. Jazz saying parenting is bliss. I don't understand that. I don't understand that at all. Let's put some sad music on. If you're too late, you're too late. I'm not waiting till it gets to a thousand. You should have been in by now. A lucky dice blow for marbles, Mr. Al Pacino. <laughs> UK, thanks for sub.
Lummy says Limerick's no more. He finds them an utter bore. Stop sending them in. It's a terrible sin. I can't take it. Not one second more. You've got your the rhythm or whatever you call it. Completely fucked up. Utterly. Utterly. Annie Oracle says, This song is sick. If I could get rid of the vocals. And that's my trademark. That's all the hallmarks of a, of a Limmy song. Something that could actually sound alright if it wasn't for me ruining it. That's the hallmarks. For the bass to the bell, Jimbo, massive somethings and subs. Yeah, I'd love some FMVs on the horizon. You know what I might play, everybody? I might play that uh, Immortality, whatever it is. The one... Um, it's, uh, it's a wee bit... Uh, it's a bit blue. I might play that next week. Let's see if I get kicked off Twitch for it. But you are going to have to be on your best behaviour. And maybe, um, I don't know. Maybe sort yourselves out before you watch the stream so you're only too horny or whatever. Maybe spend a wee ten minutes in the in the toilet before you come on. I think it's a bit TOS, maybe, but I've not seen anything... I've not seen anything... Um, Oh well, that's a no. I've no. Ah, it's quite, it's quite sexual and I don't know. I've no seen anything that says. I've no seen anything that says uh, you get banned for it. Because I'm interested. But it's meant to be a good game. It's meant to be a good game. It's got bare chests. It's meant to have nudity, um, shagging or simulated shagging, because it's meant to be, I think they're like making a film in it or something. So there's uh, that kind of thing. Um, but I feel like playing it, I, I don't know, I've just changed my mind about a few things in terms of risks and things like that. Midlife crisis. Just as long as everybody behaves themselves in the chat. It's a bit heavy theme-wise. So that, that's the main thing for me, that if it has got, I don't know, for some sort of assault thing or, you know, something something quite bad, something, something to be taken kind of seriously. And if anybody in the chat is in a is in a fun frame of mind then they won't be taking it seriously and they'll just be going like ah kind of saying something and somebody else in the chat might be going like that this is fucking out of order that's the weird consideration I've sometimes got because they're on different um, frames of mind we're not on the same one I could talk about something serious um, I don't know I don't know and I could talk about a serious topic and there'll be people in the chat that are like I'm not taking anything serious today just to let you know let me I'm not taking anything serious today I'm in hot I've got my shorts on my t-shirt on and I'm about to jump in a fucking plane or something some people might have had a wee drink so um, so we can see we can see how it goes I'll play it I'll put a I don't know. I've only put a warning on the screen. I'll just say it's the adults and I've got the warning things. The warning that the when you go into the streams got a warning. Highly sexual, highly adult, highly violent stream this is. And then people can decide if this is something they want. Immortality, aye. And then people can go like that. Not funny. Can you believe the one that is even here? Can you believe this? Botany, I think it's a sub. Todd Blister thinks it's the bits. Nice one, Todd Bolt. Cool fun. Red Gal thinks it's the subs. The Osmonds were charged with running an illegal puppy farm in the 80s, really? Do you know what? I, I had a feeling. 
the one. Familiar feelings, Redgar, Andrew, thanks for subs. Suffered a head injury this week, big man. Figured you'd be the man to ask for tips on how to move on with life with half a brain. You being the expert and all. I can tell you for that head injury because you didn't need that last bit. You being the expert and all. It kind of, if you left that out, it's a, I think it's a wee bit more clever. It's, it's pretty, f- it's not even that clever at all. It's, you know, move on with life with half a brain. You'd be the man to ask for tips on how to move on with life with half a brain. The, jo- the joke's done. That's that. And then you're like, you being the expert and all. Yes, yes, I get it. Huh? Family Terrace, jump on point. Thanks for subs. Oh, expect my first burn in March. Any advice for a first time dad? Anything? If you've got any Columbos to watch or anything like that, get them watched now. Edro thinks it's sub sweaty up there, but no, but sweaty down there. <laughs> Jack, Muddy, Andy, Pater, Crisis, Dave, Dodgy, Fash, thanks for the subs. Oh, thanks for your real money. Oh, thank you very much. Dave thinks it's sub. When you do your Scottish A eh, impression, I thought you were exaggerating until I met a Scot who said A eh, after every sentence. Guess what part of Scotland he would say? Fife, somewhere in Fife. Part of Crisis. What a ride. Thank you very much. The blam has been taken and it was a no blam. Dave, Dave, uh, where were they, Faye? Bet Dave's not even there anyway. Dave? Oh, by the way, I don't know if you know, but I changed the. See the. Hold on. See the time. It, see when I speak and, and you got the, uh, the ducking. First of all, is the sound, the music, gone quieter when I speak? Hello, hello, hello. I increased the release time for it so that it stays it stays quiet for longer after I stop. Hello. One, two, three. I mean, I did that, I did that a few days ago. I did that a few days ago. Because I listened to it, I watched a VOD and... I wanted to check the sound, and I noticed it was it was ducking, which is good. It was it was turning the volume down to the um, the game or whatever I was playing, but it just seemed to come up too quickly. It just, so it gave a kind of pumping sort of kind of doing up sort of way that I didn't quite like. It's a bit too like that. So I thought I'd make it a wee bit more um, radio like. I could I could increase it even more, you know, so it sort of stays down and then slowly comes back up. Passed up Rabbit City. Mrs. Sweet Dude thinks the subs. What's a wisdom? Half of me? Or you're 30 today? Happy birthday. Um, just really, really enjoy yourself and um, enjoy, enjoy things. When you kiss the gents but you don't get eye dents. Fucking shit. I, I just don't. Not now. VIP for Husey. Husey. Are you the person who said to me in threads, was it? Tomorrow I will claim my VIP. So, everybody... Right, hold on. Oh, fuck me! Where is every cunt? Man stumbles into a film set. Curry, congrats on winning marbles. Man stumbles onto film set. Does that mean I have to have my legs in the air all night? I don't have a vase, do I? <laughs> Man stumbles
This is it, isn't it? Man stumbles onto film set let the story commence. Craig went to LA on holiday. At Cal- California in general, he was going to be going to LA, San Francisco, and San Jose. And he wanted to visit the, the weekend uh, seaside a bit, uh, fun fair, whatever you call it. Where um, the Lost Boys was filmed, which is San Santa Cruz. There it is. Fuck me, I want to go there, man. I want to go there. See when I went to Santa Monica Pier. And went on that fucking, that big wheel, that wee big wheel, feeling like I was in fucking uh, Grand Theft Auto. Fucking brilliant, so it was. Fucking brilliant. Um, anyway, so he went there, went to um, their places, went to LA, and walking about Hollywood and got a bit lost. You can walk for ages. And he went to one of the um, uh, filmings of a telly program. It was some new program he'd never fucking heard of. Just um, he looked up some website where you can go and it, w- it wasn't a America's Got Talent. It wasn't a, it was like some new, he didn't even get it. It was like a kind of talent thing, but there were certain rules and he didn't know what the fuck was going on. But anyway, he left, he's just there by himself. He left and he went for a wee wonder about the place. What he didn't know is that you're meant to leave out that door, that's out into the road. He went out and sort of went round that way. He was still in, you know, the kind of studio area. He ended up stumbling onto a film set. So it's like quite a serious scene. Quite a serious thing, like kind of godfather type of thing. It's maybe quite serious. Big time actors. Big time. Big time. Serious thing, serious topic. The, the actors know that had uh, really studied the, the topic and spoke to lots of people. Um, took it really seriously. This is Oscar. Multiple Oscar territory. Multiple. Oh, this is Oscar. One of these ones is Oscars all run. Oscars for every cunt. Oscars for the. What do you call it again? Best? Is it supporting? On set therapist? Aye, the lot. Fucking. You know, best, best film, definitely. Best director. It'll be best editing. Best fucking soundtrack. And all these sorts of things. Best original song, best fucking ever, just Oscars everywhere. Oscars left, right and centre. The sort of thing where the best actor and all that, there's like about three, four different actors in it who are up for a fucking Oscar. Um, Serious, serious stuff. Serious stuff. Really, really good film. Modern classic. Serious drama. And uh, Craig... (laughs) Craig stumbles up when, right in the middle of filming one of the, the most important scenes, one of these ones that for, for years like people would uh, look at on YouTube, two minute, three minute scene, dead serious. People talking about the acting and look how it's lit and everything. Uh, he stumbled on. Like, so he stumbled on, right? Um, it was like in a, it was a kind of uh, a house sort of interior living room sort of place. It wasn't it just that, but all kind of dark. Quite like the Godfather. And he stumbles on 
in the background. Right, and here's the thing, it's like meant to be like um, up in a kind of flat apartment sort of thing, you know, in New York, like Manhattan, it's meant to be quite high up, right, looking out. He stumbles on, they've got a green screen outside, right, because um, they're going to replace that with like scenery and all that. Uh, he stumbles on, in the background like, oh, oh God, who put that there? Oh, oh, hey, what, what's going on? Hey. Like that. And the actors are like, ah, what? And he he looked through the blinds. This is him like meant to be like 20, 30 foils up, look near like uh, Central Park. And he's like, ah. he, he goes like, peak boo, what's going on here then? Peak boo, peak boo. Like that. And then one of the people who was there, see if you can recognise it, one of the actors was like, for God's sakes. For God's sakes! I saw we were dealing with professionals. Professionals. Like, something like that, right? And then... The... The first AD was about to just shout... Cut, first assistant, a director was about to go like that. Cut, director was like, wait, 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 wait. And just, uh, wait like that. And he stumbled on in a serious fucking scene. Serious. It was like, if you think, uh, I don't know, Marlon Brando, look how they massacred my boy kind of thing, or um, if I just stick with kind of Godfather type thing, and it was they like the Godfather, but just that sort of kind of well-respected sort of film and taken seriously and all that type of film. Um, meeting the five families type of thing. Oh, Oh, I'm not interrupted. I check the tried to go to, trying to find the toilet. I took to 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 one of the actors who was there, uh, Christian Bale, one of, the, one of the other actors, Margot Robbie, having previously done some serious roles, then Dan Barbie, back to a serious role. Another Oscar on the way for Margot Robbie. She was like that. And Craig went like, Ew, you're a... It's you, ain't it? And Margo went like that. <laughs> and the director went like that. Cut! And then they put the whole thing together. The whole film is serious as fuck up until that point. So, if you want to try and imagine. It was kind of like this. This kind of thing. Like that, right? Something like that. Take not, oh, take seriously, you know, like faces like that, faces like this. Felt like a modern classic, and then here, there's a windy. Hey, Peak Boo, I'm not disturbing you, am I? 20 flares up, it's meant to be, and he appears at the fucking windy. And that's like about. 
It's a fucking two and a half hour film. That's the two on mark. So you've already spent two hours getting right into it. Then that happens. And then, but it's dealt with. The matter's sort of dealt with. So if you imagine it with the Godfather, I think they've had the meeting, they've talked about things and that's it. You could leave the scene there. But then he comes on. A pee boo. And they do all that. <laughs> they are laughing. And then it goes out the next scene. Back to normal. Everything's back to normal. Um, we're another half hour to go with the film. And it just left in. And the director said, I think it's as real. This is Shakespearean. This is what the, uh, you know, the two, uh, is it like the two porters in, um, is it like the two porters in Macbeth or something? Whatever, no porters, but a bit of comic relief. Like there's two, there's two guys, it's not like a drunk guy or something, there's two guys uh, guarding the, the castle at night or something and and um, some drunk guy comes in. Is that a porter? The porter is drunk. It's meant to be a funny bit just to sort of like lighten things up before we get serious again. Well, the, the director thought that would be really good with that, you know, just him sort of appearing at the 20th flare outside the window. No, it's a windy cleaner, but obviously... It's just, you know, just mental. Another thing is, he was wearing a, a kind of um, a green t-shirt. So his head was sort of floating, no body, but you could still see bits of it, you know, where there was shadows and stuff like that. Um, big, big fucking film. And here's the thing. Imagine uh was going to get seven Oscars. It then got seven T Oscars. It got seventy Oscars. Seventy. Seventy. How many Oscars are given out? 24. So what they did was they had all these, they, they created all these new things because it had never been done before. It had never been done before. And not, not, uh, it had never been done. So they created new ones. Best, best comic relief. Best Breaking the fourth wall, best this, best that. Because there was a few times where uh, the, the director actually stepped out in front of the camera and actually said to the camera, Cut! The best appearance, best cameo of a director. The Hitchcock Award. Things like that. 70. And here's the thing. Craig Craig didn't win a single Oscar was not in the final credits even though he had a speaking part. Um, wasn't given a single penny. Didn't even know he was in the film. You know, whenever you see... He never knew for the rest of his life. Because he was daft. You know... When you see a cat or a dog in a film... Like, let's say Toto and fucking uh, The Wizard of Oz. That dog didn't know it was in a film. That dog just thought it was running about someplace. That's all. Doug, does, didn't he know it's in a film and we we know of that Doug? Does he know? Never knew. It's just, just running about. Snuffer dogs don't know that they're sending some cunt to fucking for uh, getting 25 year. I think it's a game. Just a wee game. See if you can find this thing and I'll give you your ball. Give you your fucking tenny ball. 
Um, Craig never really knew that he was in a film. People would come up to him and go like that. Congratulations. It's a shame about the Oscar, but you fucking well deserved. You deserved at least three people like that. And then, and then Craig is turning to us now after that person has went away. Oscar, my name's Craig. Da -da 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 -da. The end. That's a true story. How do I know? Because I'm Craig. That was me. It's all about me. I've been waiting for a girl like you. Retro, a honking jobby, carnivore, bloodshot, tenacious, Sean, test your pastor, John Michael, Rabbit City. Thanks for subs. Um, glad you like Benidorm, my short story, and that's your lot. Took too long to fucking write that. There's things I was wanting to stick in. I was wanting to stick. I don't know if I, I don't. I can't even remember if I even put it in. I was wanting to have one. I'm trying to hang themselves with a, a belt. Did I do that? Did I put that? In? I can't even fucking remember. Did I? I did. I prefer shorter stories. I prefer stuff that's about a thousand words. You get it earned done, but you can start writing it. You can get it done in one fucking sitting. You can just sit there and just rattle it out. Go like that, have a wee fucking cup of tea or something. Look at the window. You can have it done and dusted. Within an hour or two or three or something like that, depending on how much you care about finessing it. Or, or whatever. As I've said before, see... Um, See, writing a 10,000 word short story, it didn't take me 10 times as long as, um, it didn't take me the same amount of time as writing 10 1,000 word stories. A 1,000 word story can knock out no bother, but there's something about doing that 10,000 word one with my lack of experience of that, having to make it all work and... No, I'm going to change that because you're just like, if that wee bit at the end isn't that good or something and you want to change it, then it's all, you have to, you have to change everything that came before and all, all sorts of things. I just, I didn't fucking like it. I didn't like it. Preferred very short and sweet. Very, very short and sweet. Media, John, Wilfart, Causeless, RG Cup, things and subs and bits. Where's me washboard? They're getting the scaffold and put up next door and the radio is loud as fuck. Any tips on how I can charm, make it come, make them come uh, down a bit? Um, you can either just put up where? Because see if you ask them to put it down and then they, they don't, or the day, but then put it up later. That would be more annoying than you just putting up where. Unless you can't put it up there, unless you're you know, trying to, there's something you're trying to do, it's a phone call and you simply can't get away for this sound but if it's just because it's a bit annoying I don't know just uh, just something you got to put up with can I thinks the sub been watching for nearly a year and my only regret is not starting earlier Here's to another banter filled year to come, many years to come, and everybody see next month. It marks my five years of professional streaming. Niels King Retro. Thanks again. Banana Overlords and Wolfhart. Thanks to subs and gift subs. Thank you very much. So everybody, um Why do I keep doing that? Um Texas Chainsaw Massacre is binned. Binned. 
So let's do two cards bets. Two Wheel of Fortune. I can't type and speak at the same time. Next card. Higher. Lower. Same. You'll have one minute. Let's, let's whiz through it. Can any use type and speak at the same time? Or type and listen at the same time? Yes. Maybe I can. Can I? I can do it. I can... I can I can type and speak if what I'm speaking about is the fucking thing I'm typing. I can go like that. I need uh, to... I can do that. But can I... Can I... Right. Right, I have to type... Um, I have to type and... Let's see. Let's see what happens. I have to type in here... Um, in words, one, two, three, I'm going to have to type to ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. In words, while talking about something else. While talking about that story that I just did there. While talking about the story of Benidorm that I wrote in one of my books. Um, I decided that I wanted to come up with a, a story that was a bit longer that... Mm, I can't fucking do it. I can't do it. I can't fucking do it. I can't do it. I can I can sort of do it. It's just a, a, a story that uh yeah uh I'm surprised I was able to fucking rattle that out. It just it just feels like some things I can do in autopilot, but no no that. Same with listening. I wonder what that is. I wonder if you could take some sort of drug that Sorts that out. Why am I like that? You know, kiddo. How can I do that? How can I know do that but some other people can? What have I got? Have I got a thing? Have I got one of these classic things that make that difficult for me? Learning difficult or something like that. If so, what is that? What does it look like in the brain? And what can be done? How have we no sort? This is 2023. How the fuck have we no sorted all this out? How have we no sorted this out? How can I no fucking do anything I want with my brain? How we no tell? How can we no plug each other's? That's, that's actually quite good. It's quite good that we've no mastered that yet. Because as soon as you're able to um, know what's in somebody's fucking head, something like that. Uh, we're fucked. If you've got nothing to hide. If you've no if you've no done anything wrong, you've got nothing to hide. That's an eight. Will the next card be higher, lower, or the same? Gambia channel points right now. Ace is high. Ace is highest. Emotion thinks the sub. Electing scaffolding beside someone's house with my radio full blast, waiting for them to come out to ask us to turn it down. Are you electing scaffolding? I didn't know that scaffolding could stand for election. I think that's a waste of a vote. I mean, you're, you're entitled to vote for whoever you want. That's a democracy, but I think it's a bit of a waste. I don't want to get involved. I think I talked too much about politics and stuff like that yesterday. Thrungus and Laurentil, Fup Duck, Scarlet, Wascro, thanks for subs. Still waiting for a new, a new Rust server. I think um, Ghost Kai is going to be starting a new one soon. Thank you very much. Yes, free views, Prime. Sergeant, I think it's a sub. Thank you very much. I think Ghost Kai's starting one, maybe. I think so. Ghost Kai, Moors and um, Muggins. Uh, Muggins the what? 
Is that what I said? Was it the what? Aye. Forcing them into it. They already have a server, but they just sort of put it on a kind of um, on standby for a few months. How the works? Well, I phoned up the dentist. Every uh, dentist. <laughs> that one for the blooper reel. Phoned up the doctor. I went right because I've got I've got a wee task list. I've got all these tasks. I say to him, "What's this? What's a stupid fucking email for Virgin?" Off. Piss off. Rachel Mustard. Thanks for subs. I'm erecting my local MP. Any tips? Nice man, you fucking turned on its fucking heat, man. That's lower. That's lower. What was I saying? I was just talking about something now. Um, can't remember what I was talking about. But, um, oh, I that picture. Aye. Oh, I so I phoned the, the I phoned the, the doctor and I said, um, I said, I can make an appointment to see the doctor. What's that about? Um, it's about what's in my fingers. All oh, right. Right, what can I say? Uh, well, actually, uh, uh, actually uh, well, yeah, I see, see here's a thing. Uh, 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 I phoned a couple of months ago and said that, you know, was maybe get a phone back if you've got this stuff in. Maybe the phone back, so I don't know if the stuff isn't in yet or, you know, if I was meant to phone back or whatever. All oh, right, I see. Well, we don't. Right, hold on. Ho actually, hold on, hold on. And then they went off and they came back. Doctor was gone by there, said. It's, it's no really something we do. Uh, anyway, the stuff, you need enough people to want, need it done to get the stuff in. Um, uh, it's something that the, the doctor just recommends the usual um, chemist sort of treatments. If you just sort of chip away at that, it will work. Um, so I went, alright, that's fine. My GP just flat out said they don't do it anymore. Right. Um, so I went, oh, that's fine. I prefer just, I prefer just speed straight with. I prefer just go like that, don't do it anymore. And, uh, I did feel like saying, and of course, I won't be paying for that, yes? You don't expect me to pay for this, yes? I'll just say... Tory. Oh, right, I didn't know it was a right-wing conservative view to want free prescriptions. Oh, right. Oh, I suppose I'm a Tory then. Right, I see. I didn't realise. See, I kind of keep up. I kind of keep up. So I voted SNP and they brought in free prescriptions. I don't want to get political. I got I got too political yesterday. I don't want to bring in, uh, bring all that up again. But, right, I see. Right. Free prescriptions, free NHS is a Tory thing. I get it. I get, get, get you know. Right. Tax money gone and services for people... That's right wing. I see, I get it. I get it. Right, make sure that nobody, nobody is out of pocket because I need medicine, medical treatment. Nobody's out of pocket. Um, that's a, a conservative. Right, I'll, I'll, I'll make sure I, I vote in uh, Thatcher uh, this next general election. That's very, very nice there. Stupid fucking bastards, man. S. McG, Anonymous, Violet Lines, Haunted, Rachel. Thanks for subs and gifts. Subs, thank you very much. I don't want to, I don't want to, right, so I'm going to go for, um, not the two, but the um, nine. 
I've got, I'm quite happy with my free prescriptions. And uh, let's go and go for the nine. The bet is on. Quite happy with my free prescriptions, thank you. You're not expecting me to pay for this, are you? So what I should have said, so what is it a day then? Did, uh, did, did I go to the chemist and just... Here, here wait a minute, wait a minute, could I? Could I? It's not a prescription though. It's not a prescription. Don't know, I'll, I'll pay for it anyway though. I've, I've actually thought something's arrived in the day actually. Not a bazooka fucking thing. So I, I use that kind of sort of freezing thing, but it's not really done much. Got to get this other stuff. The one where kind of meant to file it down a wee bit and then you put that thingy acid on it, which is in the bazooka stuff. Um, see how it goes. Keep that up for however long that is. Fucking eight weeks or something. Flash says that hurts like a mother. I don't. I, I can ignore pain. I'm able to ignore pain. It's fucking magic. Uh, um, going to a chemist and you get free fucking paracetamol, or free ibuprofen or something. Or prescription. That's the way it should be. Chris, and that's the way it is. Cunto will come back at some point. I'm just not in the mood for a fucking hard as fuck. Um, uh, uh, golf, game around the golf. Some don't agree. Well, they're welcome to not agree. They're welcome to go and vote any way they want. They can, it's a free country, it's a democracy. I'll vote my way, they can vote theirs. Free country. That's what people want. That's what people get. That's higher, and that's the man himself. Okay, dokie, that's your higher there. I'm, I'm really, I've lost, lost all my confidence by paying out these predictions after that complete fuck up that I made. Um, with it, with Dead by Daily. Multiple fuck ups. Yep. Yeah. Inside the making of Starfield, one of the biggest stories ever told. I don't fucking care. All I care about is, is it a good game or is it no? Like, I don't know. I don't know. What do you think? Do you think I should stream... Starfield, I've got a feeling it will be fucking dull as dishwater. Here comes a poll, everybody. Stream Starfield? At some point? Yes? No? Because I've heard that isn't like No Man's Sky or anything like that. It's not like a, a you don't go about and building things. It's basically Fallout Four, but in space. But maybe, according to some people, no is good. It's fifty fifty. So forget it. Forget it. Dun ka dun dun. Performance is shite currently, right? 
Let's do one of these. Do two of these. What will it be? Boring. Thrill Seeker. Ultra Thrill. You have two minutes. The bet is on. Boys will be boys. Boys will be boys. Here I watched um, an Oppenheimer documentary. For, I don't know, this year. It's called to, to End All Wars, Oppenheimer, something, something, something. I, uh, Christopher Nolan's in it. Speaking in it. Interesting. Boring. Interesting. Uh, boring. Certainly know something I would like in my conscience. Right. Uh, boring, there you go. Nolan is mumbly. No, he wasn't he fucking mumbly. The next bet is on, everybody. It's on right now. No, I'm not going. I'm not going to talk about it. I've, I've been talking. I've been drifting into talking about too many serious things and political things and fucking death and disease and all that. Um, let's get back to keeping this a place of escape and light-hearted and fun and frivolity. <clears throat> the bet's on, by the way. Let's look up the word. Let's look up a frivolity. What do you mean? A lack of seriousness, lightheartedness, a night of fun and frivolity, in quotes. There's a wee example of how you might want to use that word. Frivolity. 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 This is a different... This is, this is a different voice. Frivolity. 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 Um, pronunciation will give us American what that different I. Frivolity. 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 The the. Frivolity. Frivolity. The can I keep getting the wrong note? Doesn't matter. Frivolity. 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 Re. Frivolity. 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 What's with all the frivolity? My granddad's died. What's with all the frivolity? Frivolity. Your grandmother's barely... Your grandmother's still bloody warm. What's with all the frivolity? Frivolity. Frivolity. Hey, your granddad's barely in the ground. What's with all the frivolity? The world is hell, and I know it's hell. Na 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 na. Boring. Da 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 da. You're less. You're you're learning very powerful lessons here. Some people was a for fuck's sake. I'm at zero again. Says one person. You shouldn't be gambling everything. Wise people never just gamble the fucking lot. That's good if you're into a buzz. That's good. But the buzz the buzz is actually, forget what I just said. See, see that feeling of being dumped down back to zero. Fucking best buzz you'll ever get in your life.
You could play it safe and go, I'm all, I'm never going to bet more than half of what I've got. Never. I'll always bet just half. Slowly but surely. You'll get there. But at what cost? At what cost? I'm not going to put on the armadillo one, but what's the, um, what's the other one? Necropolis. Hey guys, um, I've brought you here to uh, another place in Glasgow to show you. It's the Glasgow Necropolis. Uh, it's a graveyard. It's, it's a graveyard. It's a huge graveyard. It's, it's uh, can be seen from anywhere in Glasgow and from it you can see anywhere in Glasgow. I know it's a bit morbid bringing you to a graveyard, but there's something about coming to a graveyard, especially one like this, the Glasgow Necropolis, one of the biggest graveyards in the world. It gives you a sense that you have this life, this one life to live that's yours. To ha it's like the ghosts of Glasgow's past, crying out for you to live your one life and live it full. Full measure. Live your life full measure, Mrs. Friends. Don't know how that. Sorry, I don't know how that got in there. That bit at the end. Sorry, I don't know how that got in at the end there. Um. Oh, then. The end of the Google verse. All right. How to break up your bad habits. Okay. The secret to unshakable confidence. Is it behind the paywall? Yes, it is. I suppose I'll no find out about that in this lifetime. The hidden brain connections between our hands and tongues. The mystery of long COVID is just the beginning. And how to most effectively tenderize steak. Right, everybody, watch. Scruffy is a mod. Scruffy sub has run it. And as part of my commitment to pay back the mods, they all, they've already got their, their Christmas hamper booked in anyway. Um, no mod should have to pay for a sub on, on this channel. It's ridiculous it was ever that, that in the first place. And I'm really thankful that I have the opportunity to pay back. <sighs> Right, here we go. Where am I? Right, so first of all, I'll go into the channel. So, I click on that. No, don't. Come back. Gift a sub. Specific viewer. Scruff. Fox. There we go. Um, unable to do it, Scruffy. Scruffy, are you currently subscribed? <laughs> Caravan Petros. Who? They just got a gift. That's fucking ridiculous, Thank you. Thanks, Petros. That's nice. I'm ready to gift a six-month sub. Oh, well. Oh, well. I suppose. Thank you very much. Say, Sideway and Davies. Desmond, Asquacker, Mick. Young. Drew Barra. Martin Run. Game. Trick, Tom, Ome, Nathan, Frosty, Chris. Thanks for subs and bits. It's my pal's wedding tomorrow. I was meant to make a film for it. Uh, so I shout to Simon and Aidan and say, a more in a pure romantic way, please. For 200 bits. For two pounds, can you do this cameo? For two pounds. Uh, big shout out to Simon and Aidan. Amor.
Two quid. There's cunts charging 25 quid, 30. Cameo. Some cunts charging hundreds, but I wouldn't get that. Uh, you come on here, get it for a couple of quid. Bit of There's something I was going to do. I wasn't just going to launch straight into Dead by Daily. What was it? Oh, so Texas Chainsaw Massacre. I was playing it last night. I was playing it yesterday. Um, hold on. Test. Test. Who does he think he is? He is somebody who's making the tough decisions required to make this stream the best it can be. I want to sit here, two pound a pot, then a shout out, a shout out, a shout out, a shout out, a shout out for somebody's wedding, somebody's wedding, somebody's wedding. After four hours, there we go. Well done. Well done, me. That's a, an, an easy way to make a living. Well done. I should be grateful. Stream fucking ruined. Nate Cunt watches it. So Nate Cunt then will want a shout out because Nate Cunt's watching because all the stream is is just shout outs to cunts and uh, people having weddings and things like that. But none of you see that far ahead because you're busy with your lives, which is fine. I'm busy with my life, which is this one. So I have to make these decisions and then you come up no knowing why I've made the decisions I've had to make. Happy to put the time in to criticise and then walk away back to your own lives. I don't know about your lives. I don't know about why you make the decisions that you make in your lives. I don't interfere. But you come in here and interfere with mine. Well said. Well said, man. Sound and sass, mate. Dog bomb thinks of subs and bits. This is to buy Scruffy some shortbread, so that's your Christmas fucked, gift fucked as well. What that person did by gifting that sub, and that's very nice of them to do that. Thank you very much, Petros. But what you've done is, Scruffy was probably, probably knew that his sub was running out the day, and was looking forward to just the, the ceremony, the ceremony of seeing that six month sub going through. Just looking forward to the, the ceremony. Because that's what life, a lot of life is about. It's not just about the simple fucking mechanics of it doesn't really matter who gives us a sub for how long, as long as it's a six month sub and that's it, it doesn't really matter. Cerem look at it. the ceremonies all around you, every day. Does it, can anyone think of ceremonies? That, anyone? Any ceremonies? I suppose getting dressed is a ceremony, yes, it is in a sense, isn't it? That's a ceremony, yes. You know, like, you know, the, the, you know, the VIP sort of thing, these sorts of things, they're, they're kind of like meaningless, but they're no. A fucking wasp in here? That's not a fly, is it? Did you see that? It went to the window, so it's back out. Fucking hell, man, I could, got st I could have got stung live on air. See if, I, it's a, a, see if there's any wasp nest near here, they're getting fucking destroyed. I don't give a fuck what the council say. <laughs> I don't give a fuck what the council say. The council. Spiders, I don't do anything to spiders. I like spiders. Wasps, I don't go out my way to kill them. Um, But I don't know. There's bad blood between me and wasps. There's bad blood. And let me tell you this. I did not draw first blood. They did. They did. 
Bees, happy to bees as in bumblebees. Did you know those bees that just look like wasps? When you when you see when you think bee, you're probably just thinking bumblebee, the big chunky ones. You gotta look at it on the flowers then it's wee work. See that there? See that thing? Oh it's a wasp? That could have been a bee. They go, that's what you're thinking. When you think B, you think that. You think that. Oh, look at it getting on with its work. Big, heavy, furry thing. Just getting on with my work. It's like a big fucking... Like when it lifts off your... When you see it lifting off your... Uh, a flower. A plant. You, you see it like... Yeah! Like kind of, it's like a cargo sort of helicopter or something. Whereas wasps are fucking, they fucking hover, just hover there, hover. Really know what they're doing. Look, look at that honeybee. Yes, it's got stripey stuff at the back, but that's. Wait a minute. Aye, look at that. Easily you would you would go like that. Oh, it's a it's a wasp. Images of a honeybee, please. You would easily go like that. Right, it's a bit furry. It's a bit you would easily go, oh it's a wasp. There's the queen, the worker, and the drone. Look at the system they've got here. Look at the system. You would. Um, how the fuck does this work anyway? What does the what does the drone do? The drone shags and dies. Are they purely for shagging? Right. There's a one queen? Right, and then the word could be Give me a minute. What's the system here? What's the... I've been watching... Um, uh, what's its name? What's that war thing? Uh, Band of Brothers. Um, which is set in the Second World War, based on a true story, real people, this happened, that actually happened. All right, that one's not quite exactly how it happened, but that's... Uh, the Allied invasion of Normandy, and then and then going further in, um, whole beating the Nazis thing, that whole Second World War thing that happened, but mainly the the, the, the uh, Europe, no, the Pacific, no Japan, but um, they're all talking about. Wait a minute, oh, I can't be fucked reading that. Um, they're talking about platoon. We need a platoon. This um, regiment that. The 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 three hundred and first something paratroopers, and I'm like, what what is this? Sophocles says par propaganda shit, right? What is it? Is it anti Nazi? Is it too anti Nazi? Do you think? Does it not tell both sides of the story? Right. Sishlet and Grobby. Yes. Yes, Tom was taking Chelsea, a snail, and sound. 
Thanks to sound, uh, the, the sub sounds. That one for the blooper reel. Mine's, mine's fucking mixed up. That's fucking shit. Um, no, I think I don't think that they're not, they've not been pro fucking Nazi. I think what they mean is anything that looks in any way glamorizing war or any kind of army sort of stuff is some sort of propaganda thing to recruit people into the evil military machine. Something like that. Something like that. But I disagree with that. I can un- I can understand it to a certain extent, but I would disagree that recalling stories of fighting the Nazis is is an evil thing. I don't want to. Uh, what what's happened this week? Anyway, um. Uh. Aye, so talking about regiments, platoons, and uh, paratroopers, and um, and I was like, how is this all fuck? And a sergeant and captain and corporal. I'm like, how is this all fucking organised? I I like things like that. I like right that right the stories that uh, interesting and all that and all the things that had to be fucking done and that sort of the human side. But I also like the organisation with stuff. I'm just like, right, how how is that? So you have that many people in that. You know, like you know, like like um, centurions and things like that, right? So they're in charge of hundred men, and they're in charge of this, and they're in charge of that. Like, how do you organize it? How do you organize it in nice wee sections and numbers and know what the fuck is going on, rather than just send a fucking that lot there and them there, and especially when it said something like for the five, the three hundred and first, or the five hundred and first, or the I'm like, what? There's five hundred what's? There's five hundred. What 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 does it look like? A hundred people? Fifty? Are they divided into something else? You know that kind of thing? The organizational side of it. Sasmic Sash Sash thinks of subs. What's your most controversial anime hot take? I don't have one. I w- at some point watch something and and um maybe like it. I I'm no I'm no it's still my cup of tea. Akira is anime, isn't it? Right, well, there you go. I've watched that. And I think I liked it. I, I, see th- I see things now and again, like there'll be like a gif or something, or somebody will post something, and it's like somebody had all the fucking fingers gone into somebody's skin. Or something, I'm like, oh, fucking, I like the look of that, what's that? But, um, I don't know what it is. I don't know how much stuff I'd have to sift through to get to the good stuff. Grobby, thanks to three quid. Can we watch Kenny Rogers sing Lady Life on stage? No. Please, nobody give me any money to say, can we watch this video? I will not be watching it. On principle. Please. Paprika on Netflix. Do you say paprika or paprika? I say paprika. Paprika. Uh... Paprika. Fuck off. Paprika. <laughs> Paprika. So how an American say it as well, though, which is normally a good sign that you shouldn't be saying it that way. Right. Um... Who's that chef? I think she might cook Indian food, I'm not sure. Woman, I think on like kind of UK telly, maybe in her quite old now. Mad. Ha! 
Oh, I told Joffrey, right. Uh, oh. Joffrey. Uh, what? Indian American actress? She's 90! Fucking yes! 90! 90! Looks amazing for 90? Well, I don't know, when, when, when was that? Fucking 90, I mean... How can you... How, my head will be fucking... If I, if I live to 90, my head will be fucking mangled. Mangled. She was instrumental in bringing together filmmakers James Ivory and Ismail... Ismail is it Ishmael? Merchant? How'd you, how'd you say that first name there? Ish, Ishmael. Ishmael. Um, I remember seeing that, was it? Uh, Remains of the Day, the film by um, Anthony Hopkins. It's a Merchant Ivory film. It's like, what's that? Merchant Ivory. I thought, it's a, it's a thing. Merchant Ivory. We've named a company after Merchant Ivory. No, it's because he's called Thingy Merchant, he's called Thingy Ivory. Um. Not that you just know I care about anything, anything like that. Right. She was born in India. Right. I'm fucking gone with what, whatever she says. Whatever she says. If she says paprika, that's it. Oh, oh my god, look at that. Look at that. Oh, she looks amazing for me. Well, she, I don't know what age she is there. It's, it's not even, it's not even like looks and youthful. It's how they gather somebody. When I see, I don't know, just, there's certain people in the tail, I see they're fucking 90 and, and they're yapping away. I'm like, how? How you know like that? Uh, uh, even, I'm not talking, I'm not even talking about dementia. Like, the, the, you know, your brain will surely be just fucked, worn away to nothing. How are you still able to fucking talk? Cod conversations more than I can. More than I've ever been able to. Uh, interview, uh, oops, interview, uh, do, 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 three, no, no, ten, twenty-three, she's not old. <laughs> right. Revolutionary. Right. Is this noodle? 2023, uh, tw uh, 23 lifetime achievement. I bet she doesn't do that. I bet she does go out two uh, thousand uh, uh, like that. I bet she never does that. Some people never do that. Some people never stumble in other words. To find myself. But I knew, I knew there was a place. Is this new though? Or is this her for like five years ago? And well, I would find myself. But it... she is... How, how, how have you still got fucking life in your eyes at 90? The mango. Oh. When India was very to find myself, but I knew, I knew there was a place where I would find my. What do you write? Um, is it genetic or is it um, by keeping active? Because I was talking to Lynn about it, we were talking about uh, things. I was like, how did the Queen and uh, Prince Philip live so long? They surely only genetically. As there is a, ge a genetic thing, you know, people who genetics uh, plays a part, but simply having a, 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 the right diet and being constantly on the move, lack of stress, that kind of thing. Um, 
Uh, does it constantly cared for? What does that look like, though? What does that look like? Transfusions from the young. <laughs> I've got kind of vampires. It's close to vampires. But it wasn't going. There's, there's, there's 90 year olds that, well, well, people younger than her that are on the move all the time that get out and about the day stuff and they don't eat a lot of shit. They don't hit 90. I mean, think of fucking, uh, and I'm saying this to Tate Lynn, think about her that played fucking Doc Cotton. She was fucking smoking her whole life. Got to about 92 or something. Where I would find myself. But she'd maybe out and about. To be India. Anyway, so. Really? If she says paprika, that's it. That's what I'm saying. I'm sticking with paprika. If she says paprika, remember, it said Indian American. As if. I think she, she she came to Britain but then maybe moved to America and I think that was her daughter before there and she's American so it's possible she's uh, she used to say paprika but then got you know I'll, I'll just start saying paprika because I'm sick of these Americans gone like that don't you mean paprika? I mean, I. No. No. No, they say, they say that. They say it. Do they? I mean, you can taste the... It doesn't matter. <laughs> Just... That one for the blue right, let's... These are general... But how do we make it? Chicken tikka masala, which many people consider Britain's national dish. Um, all right, right. Was that a was that a, a a Scottish thing? Like you know, a Scottish take on some other Indian dish. Birmingham, I'm going to need. Glasgow, I know. Let's let's was invented in Glasgow. Balti is Birmingham. Nobody really knows who in Britain invented this dish. It's basically charred. There we go. So this is basically like that to Scotland. Oh, I wonder who could have... I wonder who in, who in Britain invented this dish. Anyway, I suppose we'll never know. Chicken pea. Oh, I'm going to put in the rest of the marinade. Paprika, garam masala. Ah, fucking yes! Chilli and... I'm going to put in the rest of the marinade. Paprika. Fucking yes! Yes! Paprika. Yes. What's that? Paprika is Hungarian, you knob. <laughs> Let's see. Right. Paprika. Fucking Wikipedia's got the cheek to ask me for money. Paprika. Paprika. Right, um, history. Peppers, the raw material in paprika production, originated from North America. Right, so there's that, there's that to begin with. Have, uh, where they grow in the world, Central America, have for centuries been cultivated by the peoples of Mexico. 
The Peppers were later introduced to the Old World, to Spain, as part of the Colombian Exchange. The plant used to make the Hungarian version of the spice. Right, right. Right. The first recorded use of the word paprika in English is from 1831. It derives from the Hungarian word paprika. Which derives from the Serbo-Croatian word paprika. Right. Right, look. 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 I'm no looking to say it exactly the way it's meant to be said in the country of origin. For example, I'm not going to say, I can't be asked. I'm not going to go as fancy as saying chorizo or, I'll say Ibiza, absolutely. I am not going to say paella, paella, paella. I'm not going to say paella. I'm just going to go for a kind of shiter, anglicised version where I just say the L's. Paella. I'll say tortilla. i say tortilla. Paella. Paella. i say jalapeno. Um, why not the other one? Because it's always been to me paella, 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 paella. And if I, at this stage in my life, go look at uh, paella, when every cunt around me is saying paella, I go paella. It's like I'm going like that. Yous have all got it wrong. I'm actually saying it properly. It's too late in the day. It's too late in the day. It's like this whole fucking. Ikea. These adverts for Ikea. Forget it. You blew it. You should have told us ages ago when you had your chance. Nike. Adidas. So I'm not looking to say exactly how they say it in Hungary. They might not even pronounce the letter P there. I don't know. They may, you might not even say the A at the end. Maybe I should take the chance. Maybe I should take the chance. So, but paprika, wait a fucking minute. Um, is paprika used a lot? Uh, wait a minute. Paprika is used a lot in Indian food. Is that that's correct, isn't it? In India. In India. Not really. Because I'm thinking I mean, a couple of hundred years ago, that's too recent. That's far too recent. Indians should have gone back far fucking more than that. Right, so what, what, what's that? Is that something... A kind of recent thing, right? So, right, look. There are almost 20 minutes. Now, I'm going to put in the rest of the marinade. Paprika, garam masala, chilli and cumin. Would you? I know paprika. Paprika's got a kind of smoky, spicy way into it. See, paprika, paprika in like, um, uh, we have it on, uh, what do you call them, like, um, Crispy things, what they call no crisps. Um, there's a restaurant I've been to, you know, uh, ZZ, right? chain restaurant ZZ. They bring it to begin with paprika uh, somethings. Curly fries, I fucking lovely. I think it's that. Anyway, um, 
han hungry. Paprika. I will not hear from anyone other. Right, thank you very much. How do you, how do you, um, I even learned how to say a fucking name. Paprika, right, paprika. You know, he said something, he said peppers, which I think translated as, I don't know, paprika. That's what it is. Okay. That's us. Now, I do believe we've got a Family Fortunes uh, episode to finish. Uh, no that, no that, eh, uh, that? Number six, this is the one. Gambling's coming, don't worry. One thing your dream house would... Uh-huh. House, I must have been asleep when I bought it. 100 people surveyed, top five are... Homework? Homework, if home... All right, let's go. ...next in the wagon and horses. <laughs> Blowing their noses! On the other there. On Denver. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, I gave away the top answer, the bitch is John Williams. I'm sorry, everybody. I went, I went ahead too far. Answers are on the board. Name a world famous guitar player. John Williams. Name him or her. John Williams. John Williams. What a brilliant guitarist, Mr. John Williams. Brilliant. Who is that? Who the fuck is John Williams? Let's find it. John Williams. Who is he? This here? One of the finest guitar players. Joe JSX has stunning tone. Joe is a very good guitar player. So everybody, copy what Joe says. If you want to sound like you know what you're talking about. Say... A guitar's got a beautiful tone. And what else do we say when we talk about the police? No no the no the the uh, enforcers of the law, but the band. What do we say? Great drummer. And what's the name? Stuart Copeland, that's right. So if uh, if somebody says anything about um every breath you take just, I don't know, somebody's getting their opinion on it, said they like it or something like that. Just mutter, as if as if you're not trying to make a big deal about it. Aye, aye Stuart Goldwyn, brilliant drummer. That, just sort of, as if sort of like you're saying it to yourself. You're not making a big deal about it. And it was that? Oh, no, uh, Stuart Goldwyn, brilliant drummer. The drummer? Aye, aye, brilliant fucking drummer, aye. Really? I don't, what's his name? Stuart Copeland. Maybe do a wee sniff after it like that as if as a way of conveying um, like a, you've got things to get on with. This isn't a big deal. You're not trying to make a big point. Aye, brilliant, brilliant. Anyway, so, like that. Because um because you're not talking about the guitar, you're not talking about the bass, you're not talking about the anything else, the singing, the drumming. You must really know your stuff if you're if you're focusing. I've not noticed that. I've not noticed how good the drumming is or how good the drummer, uh, uh, the drummer is. You must have a better ear for this sort of stuff than me. That's that's what people will think about you. What else did they do? Was that it? Number one for that. Everybody, how do we... How do we think about the sad things in the world and all that and, and somehow make life livable and get past it? I'll tell you how that there. 
That's how you do it. Never underestimate the power of banter. You took your eyes off banter. Or as, as the youngsters say these days, you slept on uh, banter. You slept on banter. Having a laugh can't be that important. I'm not going to think about it. There must be some very intellectual way of making the world a better place. Having a laugh. That's that's for that's for times of having a laugh. We're serious here. I'm serious about comedy. Fuck off, slept on. You know what people are saying? Also, oh, Texas Chainsaw Massacre. People, I was looking things up. I was going to cook. People are saying, uh, oh, you know who's the best? You know who's the best character? The cook. Uh, the cook. Person, yeah, people are sleeping on the cook. They're too busy doing this, they're sleeping on the cook. Um, I so I was playing it yesterday, Texas Chainsaw Massacre, and I was going to cook, and I was relaxing, and just doing my whole spot, and saying, put a padlock there, padlock there, padlock there, and then spotting people, and occasionally hitting people. Occasionally getting somebody cornered, chasing them myself and getting them. Um, I had to wee add-on, perk, whatever the fuck it's called, to go a bit faster. But at the end of the fucking day... I was, um, I mean, I know you can go Leatherface. I know you can go one of the other family members. I know you can go with survivors. But I was just uh, victims. I know I, I, I've got these other options of how to play the game. But I, was, I just felt like, not that interesting. I watched a, I watched a stream of somebody playing in a survivor side. And I've got, I think he's up there. I think he's down there. Leatherface is down here. I think he's up there. Oh, oh, quick, 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 you stay in there, stay, stay behind there, you know, they're all communicating. Which will never be then. So, what's the fucking point? What's the point? It's a kind of, not a lonely experience, but... It kind of feels like... I don't know, it, it doesn't... It's not got enough variation for me, you don't need comms for Victor. So it's got no, not enough kind of variation or, or something for me, for what I'm after. See, at least we say, Overwatch... You could play a ton, a ton of different characters, lots of different maps, different game modes, um, and all the voice lines constantly. It's just bombarding your fucking head with stuff. And I, and I used to really like that. Um, Dead by Daylight, not as much as that, but um, I can kind of relax doing it. But... Um, not enough variation, says man exclusively playing one character. I went Leatherface, but I chased... Maybe, maybe I've uninstalled it anyway. I, just, I went Leatherface before, I went the um, the Hitchhiker before, and I, I just like... I see that waiting about in the lobby? I was, I, was, I was in the lobby again, right, last night, but wasn't he like, ha-ha, I'm not going Leatherface. I was waiting on somebody to fucking ready up. There was a leather face. I was waiting for somebody to ready up. It's like three fucking minutes. I just waiting for this person to fucking do the tick. It's like that, looking at it. It's like 259, 258, 257, 250. Just waiting, just fucking hit tick. Like, I'm not fucking sitting about. I'm not getting time for this. And all it takes is for somebody to go like that. Ah, you know what? I'm not waiting. And then they, the leather face fucks off and then you're back to square one. Um. No, it's still for me. I just had this feeling, I was playing it last night, y yesterday, and I just had a feeling, oh, I'm wasting a lot of my fucking time here. I like whiling away the hours. I like just spending my time just doing fuck all. I like that. I'm not like a productive person where I go, right, I just feel like I'm wasting my life. I need to make things, otherwise what's the point of me even existing? I like to just play games and have a nice time. But just had a wee feeling, oh, right, here we go back into the game, and... I could go a different character, but um, just like, here we go back into the game, and I'm like, right, so survivors will try to do that, and do that. You could say, what's the difference between that and Dead by Daylight? I don't know. But, um, the three maps, that gate, that gate, that gate, or that one, they'll try to get that. Chase them about a bit, they go through the wee gap, kind of get in there, spot them for Leatherface, Leatherface gets them. Go Leatherface, chasing somebody, I kind of get through the gaps. Go the Hitchhiker, place the traps. I mean, maybe if I went, 
even if I went to the hitchhiker, you start it. Here we go. Right, place a wee trap there, a trap there, and a trap there. Right, let's go and find out where they are. Don't know where they are because the person gone to cook, isn't he? Uh, on t uh, level three. Look about, there's somebody there. Let's go for a chase. Oh, they went through the bit with the barbed wire that leather face isn't cut down. Out they get. One gets out, two get out, Navy gets out, they all get out. That's that. Maybe if I went survivor, maybe. But if I uninstalled it, I just thought, there's something else for me. There's something else for me, don't know what. That's the thing I always play if I get a guitar. Because you can just go like... Ding, ding, da, 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 da. Graham Husey, House of Fraser, Gravy, Jacko, Barmer, Davidson, Rat, Sebastian, Echo Thump, Cadge, Church Goblin, Goblin, Jambo, Sass. Thanks for the subs and bits and three quids. Edwin Collins enjoyed that funny Lightning Seeds clip of you on Twitter. He replied to it. Oh, really? What, did, what, 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 what bit? What did I say? How many pakoras do you think you could eat in one session? 15? Um, eat 50? 15? 50? Like, could eat until I'm like, seriously, I need to stop, I'm, I'm in a lot of pain. But you win the competition, I can't do it. I think I'd actually hurt, like, do myself serious internal damage. I think I could fit 50 in. Oh, uh, can I ask when the next VIP only stream is scheduled for you? Will you let you know? I'll, I'll, I'll let you know in VIP Discord in a secret. You'll get your invite, Hughesy. Congrats and welcome to the VIP team. Graham Martin Wright here thinks the subs. Oh, hold on, I'll see if I can show you the... Lynn retweeted it. If you, if you look at... Uh, I think it's Lynn McGoo on Twitter. Retweeted the guy for City Fiber who was sitting right here getting a picture with the light on in the background. Yes, no. John Williams. John Williams, what a brilliant guitarist. Mr. John Williams. Yes, number one. That's nice to see. Pass. They don't like this one. No conferring by the Forestwood family. You have been landed with a toughie because you've got to come up with six more famous guitar players that occur to the British public. Hank Williams. Um, no, Hank Marvin. Eric Clapton, Jimi Hendrix. I may as well say Steve Vai, the one for Steve Vai wasn't even born yet. I just anybody fan of the bands. Um, I just go Brian May, um, Keith Richards. John Lennon, Paul McCartney, George Harrison, Jimmy Page, they're fucking well they know. Ruth Bate, right here, Matt. Graham thinks the subs and bits. Why does my wife think you're a prick and not funny? I don't know, but I'll tell you. Um, the stats show on YouTube, in fact, I'm going to look right now. Let's see. Channel dashboard, uh, analytics, audience. Eleven point four percent of my audience is female, according to whatever, however, um, YouTube gathers up on YouTube. 
1.4% user specified, 87.3% male. So, um, there, there's something about me that uh, disgusts uh, women. And you know what? That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. That's okay. Ah, oh, sorry, I can go. I can deal with that. Okay, bye. It's just that many people hear about that. Oh, my wife, my girlfriend hates you. My wife hates you. My girlfriend hates you. My wife hates you. Um, that's fine. I'm sorry. I mean, there's got to be, there's got to be data there somehow. Um, why does my wife think you're a prick and not funny? I don't know. How could it be? Lynn said something about no liking certain things of uh, certain my, my comedy things. She does like certain things, other things she's like, no. And she calls them like a guy thing or something like that. Or I might want to watch a programme or a film or something. And she'll go like that. No, it's just fucking guy stuff, guys watching other guys being horrible to guys and fucking guys in wars being horrible to other fucking guys and all that. Another film about fucking men and how men feel and all that. Um, Because I've been watching like Band of Brothers, that Oppenheimer thing and... uh. I don't know. I don't know. She says, I just love watching these things about like these horrible men. Horrible men or bad men or violent men doing bad things, cult leaders and uh, people who fucking murdered people and all that. And saying, so I'm interested in. Um, the mind and bad things and um, what makes people do that, how they get away with things and what people end up doing or putting up with or... Um, I'm interested in all that. I'm interested in evil. I'm interested in... Um, especially like cult leaders. That, that, I, I, not, not to get all heavy, but that fucking um, Jonestown one, Jim Jones... Uh, what was it Storyville documentary that two part thing that was really interesting I, I just find that really really interesting really interesting just how it st just how it starts with a guy that feels a bit of an outcast or something like that when he's wee and then he goes to see some preacher sort of guy at a church when he's wee and he's taken aback by the, the power that that preacher guy, like, I don't know, like a small town or something like that, his air people, how they're all watching and listening and to him, and then he gets into it, and then one thing leads to another, and he's got a nice wee church, what is it, church or, the people's church or something, it's in like, uh, I can't remember what it's called, People's Temple, People's Temple. I think it was like San Francisco and like local politician or whatever was friendly with him and all that. Like this is a good local church or something. And and um, and it started getting into like fucking miracles and shit like that, faith healing. And then he started getting into um, trouble, I don't know, bullying, attacks, people getting attacked, um, things like that. And then he was starting to get into trouble with the 
polis or the government or something. So it went, right, let's fuck off to this uh, bit of land that I can buy in the, what was it? Was it Guatemala? I can't remember the name of that country. Guata, was it Guatemala? Maybe. Was it? Guyana? Guyana? Oh, right, right, right. Central America. Um, and then all led to the, all that fucking horrible stuff. Just seeing how people gradually go along with a thing. Just seeing... The, it, it's just fascinating. And, and people, the personalities and the mind is fucking endlessly fascinating. Endlessly. Because it never, never get worked out. Just go, why do people do the things they do? How can people go from knowing what's like maybe right and wrong to how, how it can shift? Fascinating thing, just even things like the fucking Coliseum. Nothing's really changed. Nothing's genetically changed. There's no genetic change between us and the people back then. Yet yeah, there they are. Going to see they fucking things. Nothing's changed. Yet people's attitudes can shift. They can shift and they can shift back. They can anything could fucking happen. It's it's, it's, it's dead interesting. Bad things and and wars and the dilemmas and uh, morality are wars and the fucking uh, uh, nuclear bombs and how do you win a war against um, people you regard as bad? What, what's the rules? What's allowed? What's not allowed? What do you do? What to what extent? How far do you go? Um, what, how much you, of our humanity do we fucking lose and try to fight something and all oh, this sort of shit? Oh yeah, individuals, bad people, why they did it, how they thought they could get away with it, the effects that has on people, people who don't listen, people who, who say something but only listen to, why that was. Why they were protected? All these sorts of things. I'm, I'm interested in it all. I'm I, endlessly. No, we're not moving. I will move on when I'm ready to move on. Museum. If you don't like it, start your end stream, and then you can go at your end pace. Um, sick of people in the chat. See, for you, you just think these like individuals just gonna just gone like, all right, move on. But I just see constantly people go like, all right, change the subject. All right, stop watching this. Get a game on it. All right, get the game. I'll go get this game's shite. Get Bob fucking Monk House on. Just constant. That's all I see. Just people complaining. That's all I see. Just just big streamer complaints. That's all I see. Individually, you just think I'm just one person saying, oh, move on, and then you go away. I'm seeing it with everything. Up it goes. I'm interested in all that. I'm interested in myself. I've always been interested in, in myself and how how um, my mind works and how I interact with other people and what other, other people mean when they do that and what happens when I do that thing that somebody else does but they've reacted differently and all that. I don't just see it. I don't see it in, in a robotic sort of way. I don't go, I don't understand people. I did this, but that other person did that. But, but you know, I... I got told off for it, or uh, it doesn't seem to click, or how come I did that and people were fine with it, but that other person did the exact same thing and they got a hard time for it? What's the difference here? Is it because of this? Is it because of that? Is it the telly stuff? Is it because I'm this, or I'm that, or I said this? Or I'm interested in, I don't suppose it's psychology and sociology in a casual way. I think everybody is. But, um, I don't know. Lynn says, um, um, I don't know. Is that a guy thing? I think it's a fucking guy thing. I think it's a guy thing. I'll tell you what I do like, though. I do like war things and, um, violence in films. I do like that. I don't know why. All right. I don't know why. Don't know why I like film violence. All right. I don't know why. All right. I don't know why. No, oh, my. John Doe. Because you've got to come up with six. 
No threats of violence. Thank you very much, everybody. Adam Stevenson's felon beneath the headphones. Thanks to subs. Give subs. All right. Okay. Gerald thinks the sub. Wait a minute. I've, I've missed people. Barmer thinks again. Thanks to sub. I Edwin Collins. What, what what was it? What did they say? What was I? What was I saying about the lightning seeds? Was I just just because I was saying? Oh, I used to think because. What was that again? What was the song? Oh, lucky you. And then I heard it talk like this and I just kind of changed my mind. What was it? Were you going to show that picture? Oh, the, no, no, no. I was going to get rid of it. I just thought oh, you can just see it. Uh, Lynn's retweeted it. Jeffers thinks the sub. Thank you very much. Sketch thinks the sub. My girlfriend loves you if that helps the old ego. It's not really an ego thing. It's a uh, grumble thinks the sub. I agree. Matt, right here on Ruthbeck thinks the subs. Good day to you as well. Um, it's not really an ego thing. It's just a, a research thing, really. Just like, oh, I wonder what it is. More famous guitar players that are... Making us go on ex-fascist. You might be able to see it without logging in and putting on a uh, ad thing. It occurred to the British public. John Denver. John Denver. John Denver. Well, when he's singing about the legal eagle and the lion, he's chiming away there on the strings, isn't he? Hmm, could be there. John Denver! <coughs> oh, he lost a life. What a marvellous performer he is. Anyone? What's classical? Chet Atkins. Chet Atkins. Atkins. He is one of the great classical yeah. guitarists. What? Okay. Chet Atkins. What? Chet Atkins. Atkins. He is one of the great classical yeah. guitarists. What? Okay. <gasps> Chet Atkins. <laughs> See how laughing at that? Who, who the fuck is Chet Atkins? Was he no? What's the fucking question? <laughs> World famous guitar player. Is that occurred to the British Eagle and the Lion? He oh, he lost a life. Chet Atkins. Yeah, Joe. Joe. What do you make? What's your opinion as a guitar player yourself? What's your opinion on uh, Thingy Quinn? Um, what's his name? Something Quinn. No, Ray Quinn. What's his name? Qu Quinn? Is it Quinn? Something Quinn? No, no Quinn. I'm getting mixed up with a song that he did. No, no. Thingy. Quinn? Is it Quinn? Um, the who's the who's the guy who was in um, what the fuck is that man? Who's the guy who was in um, what's the name of the band? The, uh, the Bods. McGuinn. McGuinn, no Quinn. McGuinn. You know him? Him here? Folk music was the last to hold out to the lure of the electric guitar. As a songwriter in the Brill, you know, well, what later came out is Turn, Turn, Turn. 
You know the birds that did um, Bob Dylan songs and all that? But that's no... I, I remember seeing a video. Remember seeing a video. He's got a... Another artist into this. Russell was in this. Hey, Mr. Tambourine Man, play a song for me. I'm not sleepy. Oh, you hit that. Those better ones. There's, there's a video that I saw, I just, it sounded dead nice. What's this shit? What the fuck is that? Ten most dangerous kids currently rotten in death row with, with a dummy or fucking Wayne on a... Right. Roger. This won't be worth it. This won't be worth it. What's all that shit? I regret. I regret this. Right, let's go with this. Crimson. No, don't sing. I'm showing people a video on my stream. Turn, turn, turn. As well. Don't sing! Something like this. Ah, just f forget it. Nothing! He is one of the great classical guitarists. What? Okay. Chet Atkins! Chet Atkins. He is one of the great classical guitarists. What? Okay. Chet Atkins! <laughs> Two lives lost. Oh, wow. Two lives lost, and now the Jones family is. Con Aye, Bob said classical, but he got it wrong. Conferring on a famous guitarist, world famous. They're glad they passed this one. Yeah. He's got sweat going down the bridge his fucking nose now. Conferring on a famous guitarist, world famous. You need to be sweating fucking buckets to have sweat on the bridge of your nose. Because it either comes down for your forehead. Does it does a bridge of your nose even fucking sweat? Probably got one or two fucking sweat pores on the on the bridge. One of the last things on your face to sweat. Glad they passed this one. Yeah, I'm not surprised. Um. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking hell, man, he's struggling. Now, there's a guy who has bet everything on the last horse race of the day. And he knows he's fucked it. He knows he, he, he's, he's no hopeful. He's no seen, he's, it's, it's not like all oh, his horses in first place. This isn't him happy, by the way. This is him in denial. Uh, oh. this, no, this is him sort of comforting himself. He's went like, oh, fuck, I'm going to put everything on the last horse. I need that 15 to 1. And then, and as, as predicted, it's like second last. It's trailing at the back. You don't even see it at the front anymore. It's just about like three or four horses at the front and his one's trailing. He's like that. Oh, oh well, <laughs> oh well, oh god, I'm in a bit of trouble now, <laughs> Jesus, I need to get on top of this, I'm in a bit of trouble now, where are you, where are you heading? Your ho oh, I'm just heading back, heading up the road, your house is that way, why are you heading down that way, that's that's just the Clyde that's down there, oh I must have, must have, must have uh, taken the wrong turn there, Heading up the heading up the road, and away he goes, and then they go back into the bookies, and they see him walking past the window back towards the Clyde, and they go, "I ah, just let just let him. It might be best." Goose Lord, John Cole, Byron, Maxi, Rendershaw, Adam thinks the subs. Tiger, oh, I never watched Tiger. I never watched it. I never watched it. Just let them. I mean, the, the, the switch off machines, they, you know, for old folk, just let them go. Let them go. Just let them. He's fucked it. He's fucked it. He's fucked it. <laughs> I, I just... Come on.
somebody runs out. Is there any human? There's something wrong with you. Go in. John comes out. No, he's John. Craig goes out to help John. John, for fuck's sake, mate. Come on. I know it's bad. I know it's bad. I know it's bad, mate. Right, I'll tell you the truth. Don't smile. It's fucking terrible. But you'll get through it. You've got pals here. Right. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna sugarcoat it for you, mate. It's fucking terrible. And it's gonna be a lot of hard work. Right? I'm not gonna sugarcoat it for you. But we're gonna get we'll get through it. Right? And then walks him up the road, passes the bookies, pops his head in. Craig goes like, you are fucking monsters, by the way. Monsters. John like that. Oh no, come on, don't say no there, John. Monsters. And then walks away with John. And then, next week, John's back in the bookies. But Craig, isn't he? And they get in touch with John's like, oh, I'm alright, I'm alright, I'm just going to watch myself now, back my feet. And then somebody bumps into John on the bookies, you alright, you know, coming in. No, I'm fucking skint. How, well, I offered to help John out. He said he wasn't he was gonna gamble again, but he's in a lot of debt and needs money for food and all that and the wains and so I gave him how much you gave him? He wanted three grand. I took out a, a loan because he's fucked, he was gonna jump in the Clyde if I didn't. He? But he said that's went and that's went on the the food for the wains and they've got a birthday coming up, so um that's gonna be brilliant. Right. All right. Have you seen John? No, I've not. And then they go up, back to the bookies, Craig goes up the road, and they say to John, all right, John, Um, you better jump in that cloud or I'm going to fucking kick you in. Mullo thinks it's sub. John Cole, I might play Starfield. I think it'll be boring as fuck. Elvis Presley? Well, he certainly could handle a mean guitar. Oh, they'll just... Elvis, the pelvis. <laughs> Not there. Who is there, John? One name. Your whole family put... Hank fucking Marvin, get it said. Paul McCartney. David. David, Paul McCartney. Paul McCartney, the bass player, aye. I suppose you got yesterday dun, 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 dun. and tell me what's your favourite song uh, what's your favourite bit of guitar playing by John McCartney I like um, if Paul McCartney is there you get the 39 pounds in the bank if he's not the money goes to the Farris Vets Paul McCartney <laughs> Let's find out who those famous guitarists are. The British public named number six, Eric Clapton, number five, Segovia, number four, Julian Bream, number three, Bert Whedon, number two, Hank Marvin. The Hank Marvin. Uh, nay Jimi Hendrix, nay Jimi Page. Remember, this is 82, and the sort of cunts that are getting asked this. Who is getting asked? Who in, who in the public is getting asked? The sort of people who know these names. Segovia. Marvin, the second most popular in the business. I used to play the electric guitar. My father hated my electric guitar so much, one day he plugged it in went bling, 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 and threw it into a bath full of water. I was lucky to get out of it in time. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be playing our own tune. It's called... No Dunkin bad. Right after the break. No bad, that. Fortunes, no bad. But I would say to the director or whoever is responsible, the producer, get some fucking lights. Look, bright light on the face. My father they walk suit. electric guitar so much, one day he plugged it in and went bling and threw it into a bath full of water. I was lucky to get out of it in time. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be playing our own tune. It's called Double Money, right after the break on Family Fortunes. Join. Thank you. Thank you.
buy for me. You know what I miss? That Family Fortunes that I watched before that had the adverts, you know, it was just taped right off the fucking telly at the time. It wasn't like adverts for fucking Challenge TV or something. It was, um, what's it called? It used to be called Challenge TV, didn't it? Oh, they've not got the fucking money for a fucking moving spotlight. Somebody up there, guy with a light moving about wherever he walks. They just need to light the whole place properly. Don't talk to me about lights and how much they cost. Jack Sorts, Fatney, Chris, Axel, Gregory, Merlot, Goose, John, Byron. Thanks to subs. I might play City Skylines too, but it might be more of the same. The Rambo streams are the best. No one else goes from Joe Longthorn's clean and jerk bookie's face to looking up average weights of sheep. That's right. <laughs> I forgot about that. That's right, because he goes, oh, no, 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 no. and then he comes up for the fucking, the smile. I wonder how long it was between seeing the smile and checking out the average weight of sheep. Half an hour. 20 minutes. I've got a barbecue the weekend. What do you bosh in a barbecue? Burgers, sausages. Don't really mind. I don't really care too much about any sort of chops things. Or Just straightforward fucking burgers. So you kiss the lads, then you go for the dads. That's living all right. I think I want an equivalent of... I suppose that kind of is a kind of covenant. Yeah, I want something that's... So you kiss and you kiss the days, but you don't as the names. That's... Like, I want the, the woman, the guitarist there. If she wanted to sing something about guys, let's say. What would be the equivalent? Not just anything. Something that's kind of like... Kissing the guys, but it's purely superficial. That's all they're getting. There's nothing else. You're not interested in um, that kind of thing. Kiss. There is no kiss. That I kiss, and I want kiss. Waste of a, a good bloody guitar. I say, he was maybe that maybe was not working properly that much anyway, and he's going to get a new one anyway. Crime Watch. 90s, 80s, would I consider streaming up? What the fuck? I'd be alright if it was like this. Um, um, shoplifter, shoplifter. Um, bank robbery when nobody was there. But it'd be fucking serious, upsetting fucking crimes. I don't just mean... Or, I mean, murdered, but like, or some fucking... No... This isn't Cammy's law. As if I'm fucking gonna do it anyway. Game Muscle, so thank you very much for the raids. Hello, Raiders. I know four. Family Fortunes, number six. VGR 9049, 1981 Pal, part two, take one. Family Fortunes, part 6, ATR 9049, 9081. 9049-1981, pal, part 2, take 1. See the person who said that? They're probably deep by now. But getting a wee glimpse into their daily life, and you can tell that's somebody who lived in the fucking moment, by the way. Lived in the moment. Suspicious. Do you remember Ellen in this episode? He sort of said hello to them and did some stuff with them on the left, but didn't he date with them on the right? And that guy, the dad there, stays 10 minutes away. 10 minutes away, and he knows where Bob stays. I think Bob is feeding them answers for the next one. Look. Alright, so just, uh, so just, right. Uh, cat. 
right? Is that for the, is that for the final one? Not for the next one. Next one, right? Get that. It's double money. Remember. Then I'll tell you the the final ones when it when it comes up, right? Hold on, hold on. They're looking there. Oh, hi, hi, hi. How are you? Yep. Uh-huh. We're gonna play for double money now. Double money means. Every- but Bob's maybe said to him, "I'll give you the answers if do you know any cunt that can get his coke." Baron, Big Fox, thanks for subs. Uh, and you kiss the blokes and you take all their smokes. Uh, something about, I want, I'd like something today with, so you kiss the blokes or guys or guys. Uh, not guys or guys, they're two, that's the same word. One for the bloop. I've not had a lot of sleep recently. Something like guys or maybe guys or guys, you know, blokes, men, lads, something like that. About kissing them, but then um, you're not interested in any further than that, like um, not asking their name or anything, kind of using them in some sort of way or that. Every answer we got in our survey is worth £2 instead of £1 to our competing families, and they're good competitors. Over here, the Forestbit family, who come from Barton Le Clay in Bedfordshire, have £86 cash to their credit and individual prizes of a, a silver plated tea surface and a toy lion. Is it, what was that? Credit and individual prizes of a, a silver plated tea surface and a toy lion. <laughs> 95 quid and a, a silver plated tea If you noticed that the down on the left looks like Charlie Chuck. The, uh, by one individual, the Jones family. And now to see one of these families break through the £300 barrier and play for a thousand pounds tonight that's family for yeah. show you in a minute it was my first picture as a director karen karen plays kari the two k's are up a hundred people surveyed the top five answers are on the board we're asked for five answers out of the many we received paying for double money there's a hidden prize up there name a book that is useful the bible karen Dictionary. The dictionary is pretty useful, except the Irish one. It isn't in alphabetical order, you know. Oh, <laughs> you hear that? Anybody in the chat Irish? Let's say that one. Except Irish dictionary. It is in alphabetical order. What is it we use getting everything mixed up? It's going to be alph- alphabetical order. <laughs> except the Scottish one. It's only got about like 13 letters in it because I don't know what you fucking... Don't want to go to the, you know, the rest of the alphabet, the words and the rest of the, you know, because, because we're like, ah, I fuck that, man, no bother printing all that. Scots are, Scottish people are miserly, so we would have, our dictionaries have only got about half the words in it, or it only goes up to like, uh, L. English, standard, they're, they're normal. English, that's your standard, your default person. Your default human is the English person. Irish, no, back to front, upside down, inside out. Scottish people, miserly, 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 miserly bastards. Welsh? The Welsh don't really seem to, Welsh folk don't seem to uh, get it, uh, as in, uh, get the um, kind of abusive, you know what I mean? I don't mean abuse. I mean the these jokes, the subject. Scottish Englishman and an Irishman. If you were if, if you were forced to put a Welshman in there, what what would it be? Some sort of cheap fucking joke. Sc- Scottish, you can do that with them. Cheap shag, but that's Scottish. You can do that as well. See, see if they couldn't, see if, if they're doing Scottish jokes and for some reason a law came in, you're not allowed to do the miserly stuff anymore, they'd move on to sheep shagging. Lanky says, do we? Well, you'd know, you're up there. That's where they do it You're up, you're up uh, kind of north of Scotland. Fucking cheap shaggers. That's is that not what they say? I have never met a sheep. Says Lanky. Everybody, I wouldn't have went that far in your denial because everybody has met a sheep. Everybody. Next you're going to be going like that. Sheep? What's a sheep? Sheep who?
I wouldn't go that far in your denial. I would just, I would, I would admit to like a bit of it to try and cover up the bigger crime. So just go. I may have done it once or twice. Not every week. I'm not admitting it here. Thank you very much. I'll see you in the mod room. I'll see you in the mod room. Um. Hi. Here's the one called Dave and Jimmy, Jules. Thanks for the subs and bits. Kiss the man and say bye bye then. No, it's no, it's no, it needs an extra syllable or. By the way, can I just say this isn't a, this isn't some sort of mission to get bits or something like that? Like, get it, using bits, let me know. Stick it in the chat. Da -da -da -da. I don't like this collaborative songwriting. There's many things I've wanted to do with people. Let's do a wee song together, do a wee thing together or something like that. And then somebody steps in and goes, um, I'm assuming they're getting paid for this. What? I'm like, aye, that right enough. So I make something, they make something, we date together, and then somebody say, well, you're the one that stands to benefit the most here. You should be paying them. But it's a collaboration, we're doing it together. Aye, for your benefit. So you can show in your stream, or you can use in your stream. or so. Aye, right enough, I forget it. So you're not paying them? No, I so don't know how to. Did they? 200 quid? A grand? Royalties? What? Did they? Here's another thing. You know that person you worked with on that, that song? I. Uh, they're a beast. She just came out yesterday on Twitter or X. Right. Do you know what I mean? Something like, there'll be something. The dictionary. There it is, number one. Diction above the Bible. No wonder this country's gone to pot. Dear General Thing, Religious Scriptures. Praise his dad. David knows what he's doing. He's just Perhaps um, religious literature. Remember, it's a book that's useful. Um, uh, religious documentation, literature, and so on and so forth. Father, he's firm <coughs> about it. You're pretty firm about that. Name a book that's useful. Encyclopedia. Encyclopedia's pretty you were pretty firm about that. Name a book that's useful. Encyclopedia. I didn't expect that voice coming at him. I forgot what he sounded like. I, I was expect. I forgot. I forgot the Welsh. I was expecting. Encyclopedia. Encyclopedia is pretty firm about it. You were pretty firm about that. Name a book that's useful. Encyclopedia. Encyclopedia is pretty useful. Okay. This He's right down there, isn't he? Right down there, like that. Aye, aye. Aye, aye, aye. Encyclopedia? It is there. Three people said it. Only Encyclopedia at the bottom? Here to call double up, it's worth six pounds in the bank. Um, an account book. An account book. Mm. That, is that his... No. Mm -hmm. They could be useful, unless you keep two books, in which case it's kind of embarrassing. The account book! <laughs> Not there. Mm. That's an ice cream man for you. Was diary. A diary. It's pretty useful, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Strictly if you sell it. Diary! Just ball. don't, Bob. None of these things make sense. What was the thing you said before? In which case, it's kind of embarrassing. Um, an account book. An account, account book. Mm -hmm. They could be useful, unless you keep two books, in which case it's kind of embarrassing. The account book! Unless you keep two books, in which case it's kind of embarrassing. What would that mean? Fraud. But... That isn't it. You don't put that in a book. You don't put that in an accountant fucking bit. It's fraud. I'm, I'm, what I'm saying is, I'm not saying, but that's not allowed. That's fraud. I don't mean that. I mean, if you're being fraudulent, you don't have a fucking accounts book for it. You just do it. Not there. A personal dodgy book, like, I, you've got some sort of, I organise crime. A secret. Oh, what's that? <laughs> I've outed you all. There's pigeon walks like that, wrong. And how's that then, pigeon walks? You better work. 
for uh, His Majesty's Customs and uh, 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 Revenue and Customs. HMRC. Let's try to get the... That one for the blooper wheel. Sorry, that's far too loud. Mm, that's an ice cream man for you. Walls, diary. A diary. It's pretty useful, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Strictly if you sell it. Diary! How, uh, if you sell a diary. I, like, maybe in your case or something, but it doesn't apply to any cunt else. They shouldn't be winning this. Two lives lost. Far as with family, you could steal this. Debbie? A guidebook. A what, darling? A guidebook. A guidebook, yes. What's that, sweetheart? Darling? What's that, darling? Did you speak, darling? Sir, you could steal this. Debbie? A guidebook. A what, darling? A guidebook. A guidebook, yes, certainly. You want to find your way around? I'll give you a guidebook all the way to... A what, darling? Eggington. Guidebook! It's there, map, atlas, or guidebook. All grouped together under that heading. There's a restaurant takeaway that I went to. I've not been in for a while with the woman behind the counter. She's fucking younger than me. Like, what can I get you, sweetheart? I thought, I like that. I've not heard that for fucking ages. Said it all the time. Yes, certainly. You want to find your way around? I'll give you a guidebook all the way to Eggington. Guidebook! It's there, man. Sweetheart, she worked. She worked in the. Um, was she? Was that, I don't, maybe it's maybe the same age as me. I don't know. Maybe a bit younger. But sweetheart and all that. You know, you get some people that say, "Darling, love." I'm talking about women. Darling, love, sweetheart. After everything, all the time, and I always expect it for like older, like an auntie, an auntie. You know that kind of thing. Uh, I think she worked here and then she worked in the off sales next door. Swanton, Jordy, thanks for subs. Knew this was going to be a belt with a week when it started, but some poor cunt getting a ban for winning marbles. I wasn't disappointed, glad to hear it. The back, unbanned. I just, I just thought something was. I don't know. Swanton Bomb, Philly, Stevie, thanks for subs. Are you Russian or Dragon? A, a bit of both. Atlas or guidebook. Oh. I didn't ban them for winning. I didn't ban them for winning. It's just that their name was something like TV Twitch. And it was if the they followed, I don't know, kind of recently. And that was the only time they've ever said anything to to join Marbles. Then they won. They went like, um, I won. And then, they, I don't know, there was, there was a lack of excitement about winning. Like they just knew they were going to win. It was weird. I don't know. Turns it, um, I don't know, fine. The mods were like, ah, unban. I was like, oh well. Okay, if you can vouch for them. Okay. Yeah, uh, by the way, a map or atlas is not a guidebook. A guidebook could be, um, how do I build this thing? Aye, how to do this, how to do that, it's a fucking map. It's there, map, atlas or guidebook. All grouped together under that heading. If any member of the public had said guidebook, we would group it under that heading of map atlas. Four people said it, and therefore it's worth eight pounds. Karen, name mm. Ah, they know. They know. Bob's on the back foot because they fucking know. We would group they know it's not good enough. If any member of the public had said guidebook, we would group it under that heading of Map Atlas. Four people said it, and therefore it's worth eight pounds. Car All right. I'll accept, I'll accept it. I don't like it. Or name a book that's useful. I think Whitney said it best. I don't have any bags. I don't have any bags. 
I can, I've got, there are bags in the house. I can put my stuff in up, but I don't really have, like, my bags. That's what I would say. Um, telephone directory. It is, isn't it? <laughs> yes. <laughs> if you want to call someone, and they've got a phone. Phone directory! <laughs> Not there. What? A fucking, the, the fucking phone book? The phone book isn't there. Honest, your chance is £142 in the bank. We have, I think it's the recipe book. I, he is identical to Charlie Chuck. John, it's your chance. There's 142 pounds in the bank. We have, I think it's the recipe book. He is identical. It could even be him. It might be him. Once upon a time, there were three bears. Mammy bear. That could be him. Jack Where's the? Bear. Where's the? Uh... I I wanted. To... Boo bear. Young kid. Woof bear. Don't start shooting me. Where is it? Where's that one I was watching before? Is it this? A man went into a so that could be him. Bread shop. He said, I want <laughs> <Jay>. over there. <laughs> <laughs> he said, You can have a donut. Can have a slice <laughs> over there. <laughs> but you can't. <laughs> you can't have a cream bun. I said I want a donut. Oh, bro. So that's him there, everybody. Eighty-two. John, it's your chance. There's one hundred and forty-two pounds in the bank. It's a recipe book. A recipe book. If it's there, you get the money. If it isn't there, the Jones family gets it. A recipe book. Yes. He fucking said that to him. He told him all the answers. Since we're talking about books that are useful, how would you like a complete set, 30 volumes of encyclopedias? Oh, wow. 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 Whole family's through. And the missing answers, what do you say it is? The missing answer, a book that's useful. Bible. The Bible. Pegging book. Number four. Check book. How, how far we've fallen from the, the love, the bosom of Christ. Fuck's the Bible useful for, says picky bugger. You might want to take that up with Gideon. You know, I was staying in a hotel once, um, and uh, one of the Gideon Bibles was in, in the room, and you know what? It saved my life. And this is where I hit it with a Bob Monkhouse-style pun punchline. How did it save my life? Something because it's just, it acted like it's a doorstop, or somebody broke in, I whacked him out of the heat or... Need a toilet roll, toilet roll, that what... Uh, maybe. Use that as a table for your chocolate. That's right. Um, let me hotel. <laughs> there it is. Great days. Right, so there's that. Right, so. Placed by the Gideons. Uh, somebody very kindly made me a Craig's Wee Sweet Shop uh, jar of sweeties, and I ate them all on the stream. That was my. That was after my uh, 
Manchester one, I think. I'm nearly there. Right, go and eat them then. Cola cubes, lemon bonbons. <laughs> I did I did wonder if maybe they're poisoned. There's some blams for you. What does Bex Blue taste like through a cola cube? Let's find it. Oh wait, I've not I've, the balance is off. I'm gonna go to hell for that. Gonna go to hell. Hope it was worth it. And to anybody who is watching me, seen that and just gone like that, that's my Bible. Uh, the Bible is important to me, and you're eating sweeties off it. Don't worry, I'll I'll be dealt with. You don't need to do a thing. I'll be dealt with. Don't you worry about that. I'll be dealt with appropriately. This is not your fight. To have, you live your life. I'll be dealt with severely. Trust me. We'll see how it's the fucking last laugh. Don't worry. For that wee, what was that? Five minutes? Have the wee laugh, drink that, and eat that half of that Bible. We'll see who has the last laugh. Don't you worry about it. Still playing for right? You live a happy, full, peaceful life. I'll be dealt with severely. No, not severely. Just justly. I'll be dealt with justly. The punishment will fit the crime. Jordan Swanton Bomb thinks the subs. Get Gene Pitney's baby bounce around. Oh no, no, I can't no, I can't. We need to we need to get through this. I don't have long left. That. Number four! Check -book. Check -book. Absolutely right. We're still playing for double money. One of these families is going to go through the 300 pound Fucking barrier Austin. on this round, I hope, of uh, family fortunes. Two to eight. Okay, sorry, I mean, Heidi. Oh, I tell you, it's newlywed. What can we do for you? A hundred. Bob. People surveyed. Top four answers on the board. Bob, come on. Just, just for a wee minute. Okay, sorry I mean Heidi. Oh, I tell you, it's newly weird. What can we do for you? A hundred people surveyed. Top four answers on the board. But it would be good maybe if you're like, uh, I could go on a date and up and all the rest. Of it. I just want to go somewhere. Uh, I like this. I don't want to have to go somewhere and you know go to a party and. You know, you got to go up and speak to somebody, or they got to come up to you, or something. It'd be good if there's a sort of like a go between, like that sort of introduces you and all that. But you can reject it at any time you want. Get get bobbing. You know, so you're at a a party, and then you just sort of start. Oh, thing here's thing by the way. Here's thing. Oh, 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 oh sorry about us embarrassing. What's your name, anyway? I'm staying, I'm staying, I... You know, he just sort of matches everybody. God, what's he like? Old, old creep, isn't he? Aye. God, what's he like? What's your name, anyway? I'm staying, I'm staying. God, what's he like? What what music do you like? I like, um... Diana Ross and, um... Kate Bush. <gasps> I love Diana Ross and Kate Bush. Do you play games? No, neither do I. Name a place where someone shows you to your seat. The cinema. In the cinema. Ah, remember those great days when the Asherette showed you down the aisle? In the cinema top Oh, so even in 82 they didn't do it anymore? Yes, sir. Uh, jail? Electric chair? Show it to, uh, to your seat? Pfft, I can't think of anything else. I restaurant. They're going to play. It's your choice. 
And you may not confer on this side, of course, whereas the Jones family may. No, no, a waiting room. A waiting room? They say, sit over there. That's all they do these days. You can't sit there, sit over there. That is well fucking said, Bob. No wonder he managed to stick this out for three series and didn't get canned in a, you know, sort of binned in the first series because the part that comes out of him is very, very good. And it's current, it's sort of topical. And he's sort of speaking to the uh, powers that be. He's sort of fighting the power. The Listen. waiting room. They say, sit over there. That's all they do these days. You can't sit there, sit over there. It's called showing you to your seat in the waiting that's, that's, fuck, that's fucking right. That's the thing with Bob. He, he says what we're all thinking, but we don't dare fucking say. You're in a waiting room. Can I sit there, sit there, sit there. Sit there. Waiting room. Not there in a waiting room. Someone shows you to your seat. Yes, an air hostess. An air hostess. Well, certainly if you have a head seat reservation, you get on the plane, she shows you to your seat on the plane. No, two lives lost. Jones family, you could steal this one. You get, you go, you go on a flight, you've just shown them in the airport, but the ticket, uh, with the passport, you know, they sort of beating you through. I'm talking about after security, you're just about to go down that wee corridor to actually get in the plane. Then you get in the plane and they want to have a wee look. You sometimes feel like, oh, why? Why? It's optional. It is, isn't it? Because I've tried it. I've felt like that. I've sort of walked on, you know, with the, with the tickets away or, the, you know, the phone just sort of away because I know that I'm going to be sitting in fucking, uh, well, I don't know, well, fucking ABC, C20, uh, IO22, whatever the fuck it's called, um, Row 22, ABC or something. I'm like, I know where it is. Do, do I need to get them to, you know, to have a look? And I tried it once. I went like that. Fuck it. I'm going to actually know, bring my phone up. And I went, I see a ticket. That's on the plane. Know the bit just less than a minute before, but on the plane. Do you see a ticket? It was, ah, right, okay. Yeah. Tell me you know where it is. But what if they go like that? What if I go like that? I know where it is. Ah, oh, no, it's fine. I know where it is. And they go like ah, that. That's not why we're checking. I'll just start to look suspicious. I'll start sweating. Uh, restaurant. In the restaurant. You book the table, the head waiter comes over, he fawningly shows you to your seat in the restaurant. And he dies. Well, I've got bad news for you. Yous are not getting this. Double 24 pounds wins you a lead crystal decanter with six glasses. Well done. Very much. Somewhere you just need two fucking answers without conferring. Sorry. The circus? In a circus. <laughs> well, yes. That, right, now, fucking listen. Bob, see if you're getting the other lot. The answer. I, I, if you're letting them get away with saying guidebook and you're saying, well, it comes under maps and atlases, you better give them, like, theatre. For saying circus, theatre. Harry? The circus? In a circus? <laughs> well, yes. Why not? In a circus? Not there. Have you got an answer, David? Uh, well, we'll try theatre. In a theatre. I'm going to be fucking fuming if they steal this. You've got a seat reservation in the theatre. Does someone show you to your seat when you walk into the theatre? It I'm absolutely fuming. They've got it. I see. No. Oh, no. They've got it. It's the first to get to 300. Here we go with round six of today's edition of Wait. We have a missing answer we have not revealed. It's number four. Here it is. They show you to your seat at church. I suppose they have the sidesman and the usher when you go to a wedding, a special service. Uh, they show you to the seat in church. I'm being shown to the back of my desk for round six of today's edition of Family Fortune. Nice one. I says, you're speaking of which, I'm getting shown at the back of my desk. I'll see you, I'll see you in a wee minute for the next, the next question, all right? I, he's, I, he's having it. I, they're not, I, they're not like that. Ah, you know, you don't get to church. No, no, hey, no, 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 no. Uh, go to church and it's like a special sort of thing, you know, um, uh, sitting at the front. Uh, no, just the front for the family there. The fronts, you know, the, you know, the, the, the front bits, the family. There, you know, the, a funeral or a wedding or something. That, oh, right. Doesn't necessarily mean to go, you're sitting there, you're sitting there, you're sitting there, you're sitting there, you're sitting. What's your one? 
K, K12, right? K12 is there. No, that. Just sort of uh, the front two rows are for the family. Just sit anywhere else, though. That's what he's having to do there. Oh, here we go. It's the heads of the family. And you can see that, see, when they had to go to this extra round, Bob sped it right up. Did you see that? Oh, oh, right, okay. Oh, okay, let's next go to the sixth round. Good luck. It's the heads of the household, everybody. The Pauline Cocker Shea Frimble, Small Bear Brizel. Thanks for subs. Happy birthday to Laura. She likes the odd video of yours. That's fine. That's and that's enough. What do you call a limmy covered in margarine? Butterscotch. Margarine is not butter. Floored with COVID. Oh, enjoy. Fellas, 100 people surveyed. Top three answers on the board. Name something that's baked. A cake. Name it. Potato. A baked potato. You know what? Fuck yous. See them on the left? Fuck off. Go back to... What is it? Cock Bakers, the thing, uh, Bedford, the Clay, or whatever it is. We go. They deserve to win. A fucking potato. A fucking cake. Bread. Potato. Did any of the hundred people mention Nothing. That spud? They did. Oh. Hmm. Fucking play. Haven't you? Yeah, my camera with the baked up. Potato? Is that what pops at your head? Bake a baking. A baker. Bake to bake something. Let's bake a it fucking rhymes. A uh, bake a cake. Something that's baked. Something that is baked. A fucking cake. And bread. Potato. A baked potato. Did any of the hundred people mention the old spud? They bakers are bakers. Let's go to the bakers for a fucking totty. They did. There are two more popular answers. Got one? Cake. A cake. Did they mention someone left a cake out in the rain? More popular, Karen. On you go. You've won a fucking yep, we're going to play. Wow! Only one answer to find three or five. Spicy. Going to play. I'm not surprised only one answer to find. Look at that. Find three or five. Spicy. She's happy with the washing machine. Or the fact they're going to win here. Bread. Bread. Let's go. Apples. Baked apples. Lovely things. Oh, good. Keep that up. <laughs> Fucking yes. You say something like a car. A car. A, a car is baked, you know, it's kind of like dead hot in the sun, isn't it? And then you, you say, um, uh, wallpaper. Wallpaper is kind of baked, isn't it? Is it no? How did it get it for, like, a tree? Like, you know, like, which is all wet to then drying it out. That's kind of baked, isn't it? The number one answer we're after, Debbie. The most popular answer. Bread. Bread. That's it, it's over. It sounds very good. We're looking for the staff of life, bread. And it's there! What can you do to help somebody who is determined to fucking lose? Nothing. Goodbye. Played so well, John and Betty. Oh, the, the whole family's played well. You've won that marvellous set of encyclopedias, 30 terrific volumes. Decanter and glasses, of course, a tea service, a toy lion, and £228 in cash. Thank you for playing Thank on Family much. Fortunes. John, I'll see you in Batman to play at the Wagon and Horses. Not the new one. Bye bye, Carrie. Did he have a go? He says, I'll see you there. He said, I'll go to the pub. My wife, Shirley, and my daughter, Karen. Shirley and Karen, front and centre, please. Shirley and Karen. Would you be so kind as to wear the headset and the blindfold so that you can't hear or see any clues that would tell you what questions I'm going to ask our Karen? And Karen, newly new bride that you are, we've been all over the country asking these five questions of a hundred people. We've stored their answers in the computer. You have 15 seconds to come up with your answers. The 15 I don't remember her answer. Seconds won't begin till I've finished asking the first question. Remember. Are you all set? Right. Nice loud answers if you'd be so kind, Karen. And 15 seconds on the clock, please. 
Name a plant or tree from which oil is obtained. Palm. Name, name a famous yacht. What? Pass. Name any county north of London. London. Yorkshire. Name something soft. Is Yorkshire a county? That long pause at the beginning lets you down a little. Oh, oh dear. Karen, we asked you to name a plant or a tree from which oil is obtained. You said palm. Aye. Our survey said seven. Oh. We asked you to name a famous yacht, and you passed on that one. Too right. And we asked you to name a county north of London. You said Lancashire, and our survey said ten. We then uh, ran out of time. Is Yorkshire a county? Name a, name a famous yacht? No fucking idea. Are you no? No, right. Um, QE2? The QE2 is their fucking yacht. Right, oh, here, here we go. Here we go. What the fuck is a yacht? That's a, that's a yacht to me. That? Any of these ones? This sort of, you know, kind of like that. That, a wee one, a bigger one. No, it's getting a bit daft. I see a yacht. Right, here we go. I see a yacht is a big sort of um, boat that is for like kind of like personal use. It's for, like, people who are all there on it together, rather than, like, say, a big fucking ship that tons of people, um, like, is, is a sailing or power vessel used for pleasure, cruising, or racing. There is no standard definition. Though the term generally applies to vessels with a cabin intended for overnight use. To be termed a yacht as opposed to a boat, such a pleasure vessel is likely to be at least 10 metres in length and may have been judged to have good aesthetic qualities. Commercial Yacht Code classifies yachts 24 metres as large. Um, further classification for large yachts are commercial carry no more than 12 passengers private aye these are yachts oh wait state yacht I just see them as as kind of wee you can sort of like hire it but as like, you know, that kind of thing. Going a yacht in fucking Monaco or something. It's no like... Where is the QE2? Right, here we go. I mean, look at that. That's not a fucking yacht. A retired British ocean liner. Let's, let's search for the cruise ship. You know, that kind of thing. When the designer made it, the look was that of a very big yacht. Like, just the look. The look. That's not a fucking yacht. That's not a fucking yacht. That's not a yacht. I can't think of a, a famous yacht. I'm on the last two questions. So we have 17, but nevertheless, the, you could still stand a chance of winning the £1,000 if we get the five top answers on the second. You could... Still stand a chance. Second stage, so <laughs> chance of winning the thousand pounds. If Bob, are you sure? Because normally you go like that. Just to let you know, it can be done. 
we get the five top answers on the second stage. So have, be of good cheer, Karen. Don't, don't feel too upset. It is tough. Be of good cheer. Be of good cheer. 173 with the fucking five top answers. It's possible. <laughs> it's not going to happen, though. Oh, well. Oh, so sure. funny, Bob. This is fucking money. It's going to be a pushover for you, Shirley. Out of 200, you've only got a score of 183. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Let's remind everyone at home of the answers that we got from Karen. Now you have 20 seconds, the 20 seconds won't begin. Stop fucking laughing. They need this. Green gobshite, Mr. J, Danny. Thanks for subs. Rigged, aye. Well, he, I think he fucked it up for him. I think Bob actually fucked it up for that guy when he spoke to him and he left because he stays nearby, wanted to uh, get him to fuck with him or something. Well, I've finished asking you the first question. Aye, can we stop the laughing and the audience, please? If you give me any duplicated answers that Karen already gave us, which is unlikely, you'll hear... Are they still laughing? I'm just constantly hearing... <laughs> ...the sound, and I'll say try again. Can I have 20 seconds on the clock, please? Would she really be able to go like that? Famous shot? Oh, I just... I can name you three, five, if you want. Name a plant or a tree from which oil is obtained. Eucalyptus. Name a famous yacht. Name any county north of London. Worcestershire. Name something soft. Bread. Any drink classified as spirits. Whiskey. Mmm. <laughs> Bread. Any drink classified as spirit. Name something soft. Bread. Any. Bread. Right, she's still got bread in her head for before. Bread soft, so is a. Uh, a baked potato, the inside of it. Is it? Aye. Would you rather the inside of a baked potato fell on your head or an anvil? No, I suppose you're right. Drink classified as spirits. Whiskey? Mmm. <laughs> That's a good answer. <laughs> I cannot pass. <laughs> oh? What's happening here? I cannot pass. <laughs> Look at him. Look at him, right? Sort of comforting no. her. He, his wife for doing shite. And he looks at her, right? Is he looking at her? Or is he looking past her? I don't... I think he's looking at her. Right? Now watch this. <laughs> I cannot pass. I don't, I don't think he's looking at her. I cannot I think he's looking sort of like something there here, something down there. I think he's looking just past because why is he looking for that long? Look, still looking, still looking, still looking, still looking. Then, then he does that. Is he looking like, oh God, she's actually quite sad about this. <laughs> Have the wee laugh look, right? And then when he's like, right, now I know that she's not looking at me. I'm going to see her real feelings. <laughs> or he could just be just looking past her to, you know, like a, a telly on the grin, a monitor. We have 17 points. And we asked you to name a plant or a tree from which oil is obtained. And unhesitatingly, you said eucalyptus. I said, we said 13. Top answer was olive. Olive. Olive, of course. With a score of 42 for olive oil. Uh, name a famous yacht, we asked him. You said a pass. And so we give you a zero, but the top answer on that with a score of 52 was Britannia. The Royal Yacht Britannia. Her Majesty's Yacht Britannia. Also known as the Royal Yacht Britannia. So that's their special wee yacht. 
Just for them. Just for them. We asked any county north of London. You said Worcestershire. And uh, said, Worcester. Top answer was Yorkshire with a score of 31. We asked you to name something soft. You didn't name me. You said bread. Our survey said <laughs> top answer was cotton wool with a score of 16. We asked you to name any drink. With a score of 16? Clever Z. Top answer was cotton wool with a score of 16. We asked you to name. Top answer 16. It's one of the questions I am um, silk and bubbles, fucking anything. Many drink class to spirits and like a good champion, you finish strongly. You said whiskey. It was the top answer. Our survey said 54. Bring Do you think it was possible to get that then? He, he, did he say it's possible? He did say it was possible, didn't he? Probably is possible. It probably is. Thank you to a total of 84. He didn't say it in which universe I. It's possible if some terrorists come in with machine guns and say we're changing the rules. They only need to get to 150, no 200. Then it's possible. We're going to take the 84 pounds you've won in the big money game. We're going to double it. We're going to add it to the 403, which is a pretty respectable sum anyway, giving you a family cash fortune of 571 pounds. That ain't bad, Jerry. Thanks for being with Slightly more than double of what the losers got. Been lovely having you here. Thanks for all Absolute you know, buttons. Notice buttons. Terrific having you here. Thank you, Karen. Every happiness in your married life, a couple of policemen, it's bound to be good, isn't it? Ladies and gentlemen, next week, our big money prize will be 1500 oh. Join us on Family Fortunes then and every week. Bye. That's it. I'd actually say the opposite. I'd say the opposite. Stress and all that. Man. Stop making sense, thanks for the sub. We went the fiddle, oh fuck. Look at the fantastic things we looked at on YouTube today. Oh wait, here's something we could do. If you've not seen Whiplash, this might be a wee, um, don't think it's much a spoiler. What are you doing? No, 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 that bit. No, that bit. I'll cue you. No, that bit. Hmm. No, that bit. Nah. Nah. So there. So there. It's not there. Get it. 
I just want to play it like sort of whiplash. You see that, but you hear that music. Because it goes... Da, 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 da. That. Oh. That isn't that bit, actually. Uh, I don't want to, uh, see, see, I, was, I don't want to actually show you the end of it if, you know, if you've not seen it. I can recommend Whiplash. You might like it, you might know. The film Whiplash, if you've heard it, you're like, I oh, might, that's maybe something I'll watch this weekend. I like it. You might like it. You might know. Let's not fall out at it. Let's not fall out at it. I think we fell out at enough, thanks. We fell out at enough. It's fucking roasting in here, by the way. Um, Dance, thanks to the... The sub Intercy thinks the subs monthly greetings from the country of humour, Germany. I've heard Germany is getting like in the last couple of years really a lot of good comedians are coming out of, of Germany right now. You'd never would have thought of really, really good ones coming out right now. It's like when you hear about things like, you know, whiskey. There's actually a lot of really good whiskies uh, coming out of uh, Japan. Right now, many of them are a lot better than the Scottish ones. A lot of good whiskies coming out of seriously good. I mean, I used to be like, no, Scotland, that's it. Really good whiskies coming out of Japan right now. A lot of good comedians are coming out of uh, uh, Germany. I never liked whiskey. A lot of Swedish whiskies with good notes coming out. What I Swedish sounds more surprising because I'm I'm even as somebody who doesn't know a fucking thing about whiskey, I know that uh, whiskey is quite big in big in Japan, and that they make their own whiskey, and I've heard it spoken about. And is that not like lost in translation? There's a whiskey advert in Japan. Um, But Sweden, never would have thought of Sweden. I like the sound of that. I thought, um, so if you're going to, if anybody mentions the police, the band, you say, ah, oh, brilliant drummer. Aye, Stuart Copeland, fucking brilliant drummer. What was that? You said Stuart Copeland, brilliant drummer. Brilliant. Brilliant. What's good about him? Oh, he's just, if you listen to, if you, a lot of people don't listen to the drumming. If you listen to the tuning of the drumming, Really fucking good, amazing tone. And um, anybody mentions whiskey? A lot of good whiskey's coming out of Sweden right now. I never thought I'd say it. I never thought I'd say it, but fucking, they got it going on. Name one. I can tell you. Scotch gear. Scotch gear. I, feel, I fucking saw an advert. Skoda. Skoda. Motors. Skoda. Did I hear that correctly? They get you a fucking say Skoda for decades and then they go, right, it's Skoda now. It always was Skoda. You can't, it's, it's too... It's too No, ch no chance. Skoda. Right, it's all right her saying it because she sounds like... Uh, where, where's, where's Skoda Fae? Where's Skoda Fae? Scandinavian, is it? Czech Republic. Right, 
Czech Republic. Twelve years ago. Oh wait. Raindrops on roses and whiskers on kittens. Favorite things, and then I don't feel so bad. If, see if I if I see a Skoda advert. Was this Skoda featuring Paloma Faith? What? What do you mean? What do you mean? Is it is it a musician called Skoda? Or is that for a is that for an advert? Yes, well I've had my eye on one, you know, for a while. Wonderful car. Oh, well, you made a choice. It was what car car of the year? Exactly, yes, exactly. And it's good value, isn't it? Oh definitely. Um you'd done the comparisons with the other mate. Oh yes, very favourable. <laughs> Some people still have that negative thing about Skoda's. Right. There you are. That is an advert by Skoda themselves. Putting it in your head. Skoda. The people who made the advert right. on behalf of Skoda. Spend more money on and when was that? 14 years ago. And then they turn around and go like that. You know how we've been from our own adverts. I've been telling you it's Skoda. No, you're going to say Skoda. I'm going to look at the Hyundai. Oh, it's, I'll look at it. It's ridiculous. Yeah, ridiculous. That's what it is. It's ridiculous. Can I get you another coffee? Oh, yes, go on. Do you know what they're doing? They're owning it. Because people will like, Skoda. Skoda's are shite, they know. Skoda. Driving a Skoda. And they're owning it. We're going to go for something really bold. Own it is. the embarrassment. So then people don't feel... They, people won't know it. Listen. So it's out there in the public consciousness that Skoda, we know. He's like, Skoda? Skoda shite, is it not? Skoda shite? That gives you the confidence to buy a Skoda. See, you're not, you're not taking the piss at me by saying Skodas are shite. Everybody knows that Skodas have got some reputation for being shite, but they're actually really good. Right, so that's them. What's the Hyundai? Uh, at least that's what I call it. Don't tell me, it's something else. Search Hyundai. Is this unfair about the fact it's not said right? Search Hyundai. You have arrived at your destination. Hyundai. If you think you know our cars and how to say our name, maybe it's time to think again. How fucking dare you? The maybe, the maybe bit. That's the most patronised bit, the maybe. Maybe. Just a gentle, gentle suggestion. Maybe that's maybe time to think again. I Hyundai. Not cars and how to say our name. Wait for the Scotch guy. Maybe it's time to think again. Hyundai. Not Highland I. Oh, it's Hyundai, by the way. Hyundai. Search Hyundai. It's the dawn of a new Hyundai. Hyundai? Hyundai. Hyundai. Search Hyundai. Hyundai. It's the dawn of a new Highland Eye. Oh, it's Hyundai, by the way. Hyundai. Hyundai. Search Hyundai, not Highland Eye. Oh, it's Hyundai, by the way. Hyundai. Hyundai. Search Hyundai. It's the dawn of a new Hyundai. I guarantee you. Seen ten years for now. That'll be something else. You, it, it, won't be, 
it went for Hyundai. Right, obviously, obviously, it is Hyundai. It's based on some sort of word. It, may, it means something, and that's how you say that word, right? But it will be something like so many people are still getting it right, maybe saying Hyundai, that they go, you know what, let's just let them, just let them. All right, and, and we'll put that in the brand and, and, and adverts and voiceovers, we'll, we'll make it Hyundai. Yeah, like, but I'm, I'm only just started saying, getting used to Hyundai. Well, that's the way it is. <laughs> I've got to go, but I'll fucking tell you. I am not fucking leaving until I find a fucking Hyundai advert well, the advert itself says it. Speak. Speak. Introducing the i30N by Hyundai. <laughs> there it fucking is! And look, it's, there it is, it's on their fucking channel. It's on their channel. Hyundai. It's on their own channel, it's their own fucking advert. Turning petrol heads. Introducing the i30N by Hyundai. Hyundai. Turning petrol heads. Introducing the i30N by Hyundai. Hyundai, Hyundai. You fuck, you was, you was fucking told us how to say it. Hyundai told us how to, to say Hyundai. And then... Search Hyundai. You have arrived at your destination. Hyundai. If you think you know our cars and how to say our name, maybe it's time to... I could just fucking told us! You told us! Again. Hyundai. If you think you know our cars and how to say our name, maybe it's time to think again. Huh? Maybe it's time to think again! You fucking fuck this! I'm away. I'm away. Everybody, thanks for the subs, the subs, the bits and the tips. Mods, thank you very much for the mod. And everybody, thanks for watching. Mr. Chamfer and an alleyway, thanks for the subs and bits. Skoda and the check word meaning pit your shame has the S symbol. Has, and the S has a symbol for it. Oh, right, right. It means pit your shame. Really? Skoda means shame or pity? Not Disney. Not Disney. We'll talk about that first thing on Monday. If you think you know our name and our cars, think again. M maybe it's time to think again. Can you fucking believe that? Like it's my fault? See if they went like that, we've never actually said it in one of your adverts. We've never actually said it, and for some reason, they read it and go, right, they think it's that. We've never actually told them otherwise, so we should start doing that now, because they don't know. Fucking only three, what was that, nine, uh, five years ago? Hyundai. Think you know our cars and our name? Maybe it's time to think again. Why did the people who made the advert five years ago tell us that's how it was? Why? I'll, I'll just I'll just go like this. This is this is all I need today. Right, listen. We are called. Uh, what's again? Is it Hyundai? Hyundai? Is it Hyundai or Hyundai? Hyundai. U, or un. Hyundai. Un. Un. Hyundai. Hyundai. Let's say them, uh, Hyundai, 
the bosses or have all, all, uh, they go about going like that, Hyundai, Hyundai, Hyundai. They're ready to do a new advert and they've got a wee kind of wee voiceover thing to begin with, sort of like done kind of cheaply, a wee rough thing and it comes back, introduce the new Hyundai and they go, um, right, this has came up a few times before. Well, not actually, it's not actually Hyundai, it's Hyundai. Could you put that in? Hyundai, five years ago, could you stick that in? Hyundai, introducing the new Hyundai. And the advertising agency, maybe about like that. Already already looked us up first, and I knew you were going to say that. We did a focus group. We, we did a bit of, uh, we've got a number of people in for all walks of life. And we asked them, how do you say it? And most of them say and recognise it as Hyundai. So although that isn't how it's pronounced, that's how they pronounce it, that's how they recognise it. Um, it's up to you. What do you want to do? Maybe Hyundai, a bit like that. Ah, oh, fuck it. Well, let let them away with just now and we'll, we'll make adjustments as it go along. So maybe in five years from now, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll say, we'll just drop it in an advert or two. We'll drop it in here and there, but we want to make a big deal about it. We'll just go, you know, in one advert in 2019, uh, Hyundai. We won't say anything about it. We'll just say it and then it'll just maybe gradually spread Hyundai, Hyundai, introducing the new Hyundai. Just wee things, not making a big deal about it. Some people start to say Hyundai and some people go, ah, Hyundai. Like Hyundai, or is that how you say it? Gradually, bit by bit, and then everybody's saying Hyundai. That would be alright. Or even in that advert, the new one, to just mention Hyundai. But to say it like, think you know our cars and our name, maybe it's time to think again. You in your own bloody advert said it. It's light-hearted. It's no light-hearted. I mean, I, I I get the whole thing. It's funny, Highland Drive. No, I, I get, I get, I get. Of course, that's a joke. Of course, that's a bit of fun. But um, that voice, that it's no, it's no the advert. It's no the advert. It's who it fucking reminds me of that. The voice with that attitude. Maybe it's time to think. It's that patronising tone that we've all heard at some point after somebody somewhere. Maybe it's time it maybe want to delete this. You Maybe it's... And what's, what's the other thing I fucking hated? They had this on buses for a while. Seeing the back of a bus. And I, I remember asking about this on Twitter once. Um, you know, the back of buses, if you're a cyclist, it will say, uh, cyclists, uh, don't please don't cross on the left side. You know, I might, I might have just a symbol when they words just saying, you know, at the left, you know, the pavement side, don't try and sort of like overtake there because the bus might come in to stop for somebody and fucking knock you right off. It just says, you know, on the right, overtake on the right. A wee, a wee thing like that. Just to, you look at it, you go, oh, aye, right enough, aye. That's it. But they had this thing for a while. It was by the site, British Cyclist Association or something like that, which is weird because it was like, we flowers. And it said, let's all try and get on, shall we? And it had... Like, we cyclists with an arrow to the left that is and try to overtake at the pavement side of the bus, which is dangerous. Nope. And an arrow pointing to the right, um, saying, if you must. And that's by the cycle, it said by the cycling association, whatever it was. It would be flowers. You know, it's like pure, kind of like sarcastic and... Like, you know how, like, cyclists and drivers are, like, arguing all the time and don't get on? Let's do a sort of jokey kind of, okay, there's nice wee flowers and, you know, it's making it a bit of a joke. Let's all try and get on, shall we? I 
I've went on a bit too long, everybody talking about all that. But anyway, um, it did my fucking nothing. Nope. That. Nope. And I say different American accent too. I'm going to look that up for Monday. Drenzi, Al- Alloway, thanks for subs. Thank you very much. Everybody, thank you very much. I'll check this out every weekend. I'm going to check this out. I think it's going to be a huge backlash. It's the... It's the passive aggressive. It's the, it's the... Maybe, you know, it's... You're a fucking idiot for saying it this way, which we told you, we say, five fucking years ago. I better go. Everybody, thanks for watching, and I'll see you uh, on Monday. All right, for Mary the same. All right, have a fantastic weekend. Maybe a cracker. Bye for now. <laughs>